9 to 12 for Real Talk, the show where we discuss all that's real and nothing ideal, only on Styles FM. Welcome, welcome one and all to Real Talk. Of course, you know we can't do this show or any other show without you and you and you. So wherever you are right now across the world, we welcome you to Styles FM Radio. One world, one styles, and the world listens. All right, so we welcome you to Real Talk tonight. You are tuned to Real Talk with... Daddy Rude and Lady Cleo tonight for another very interesting, interesting, <laughs> can I tell you, um, show tonight. Let me say shout outs to my other co-host, DJ Prestige, Mr. Smoozik, who was here with me last week. Wherever you are right now, Mr. Smoozik, looking cool and calm and collected, no doubt. <clears throat> watch what you're going to be eating and drinking tonight and watch the time you go to bed. Okay, sir? All right. So, Daddy Rude is with me and, of course, our resident engineer, who is pretty much always with us, is the silent one. Cassidy, of course, all the videographer work and the picture graphy work and uh, all the graphics you can think of. Yeah, man, Cassidy's the man. All right, so Rude is here tonight in a very lovely uh, aqua, one of his rich um, collections. Yeah, it's very pricey, no doubt, collections, looking really bright. He's popping in the studio tonight, and I just love when men look, <laughs> look popping. <laughs> Let me not say, because you're going to tell me, brr. Yeah, I know you're going to probably say, brr, or something like that. So I love when men look. Yeah, so your shirt is very, very attractive to my eyes tonight, because I love bright colors. So it's, yes, it's pulling my eyes. Which is that in my eyes, sir? Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Good to have you on set tonight, sir. Thank you very How much. How you Lord. been? I've been tired. I've been tired. I've been tired. Er, been can I tired. tell you? Oh boy. Uh huh. I have been. But we're no, gonna no, go. No, you have a new look. No, 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 because a long time I've got a new attitude. I'm in control. My worries <laughs> are few. <laughs> 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 oh, but with my job, I learned so many interesting things every day. Yes. I meet so many interesting people every day. And I, when I just, just when I thought that I'd seen it all in my 19 to 20 years in the classroom, I realized that I'm just beginning. Yeah, just as it. Just as it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, a whole heap of things. So that, that, that's like me. All in all, it's a learning process. And um, that's, that, that, that's like me when I, when, when I um, haven't seen certain kind of movies mm -hmm. after a while. Oh, jeez. <laughs> when I thought I'd seen it all. <laughs> <laughs> With this era that we're living in, my yes. love, anything can be... Yeah. Like, okay, yeah, you're going to probably have some of those. The, I'm like, the human body can... Do that? That? <laughs> <laughs> so, so back to me now. Um, yes. I look new, you said, or different? No, you have a new look. Like, you know, like you, you could have passed for like He's clear cousin. He's giving me a compliment. Yeah, you could have passed for clear cousin. See, him take it back now because me a clear cousin and not no. clear. No, I mean, remember, you know, it, it, it could be an upgrade, uh, you know. What's it could, what it could for? It could be. They <laughs> <laughs> just pass. don't want ever give yeah. me my full 100% <laughs> compliment. Mama wins some, but I know you will, honey. <laughs> I know you have no problems to give your goddaughter a lovely compliment. Yeah, yeah. Are you begging a compliment? No, no, I don't have to beg. Yeah. Mama wins some soon takes her a compliment to me. I'm sure of it. Okay, so you're kind of... Um, no, 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 I'm not kind of anything in. Yes. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> not anything in. <laughs> and kids, that's your principle, right? Use no. it on Monday. No. She's, she's not They're not even listening. In. They okay. shouldn't even be listening. So it's adult rated A, adults only. Okay? Taz, my brother, my sister, your thing. Humongous. See me, I tell you. That's my brother right there. It, Humongous. I thought you said it was... <laughs> <laughs> that, that's my brother, I'm saying. 
coach. My brother. <laughs> yes. Out the long road. Here listening. Bless up my god daughter. <laughs> And daddy, and let me read that. Bless up my goddaughter and daddy rude. It's a night of laughter with interesting no, topic. It, 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 <laughs> no, she didn't, she didn't write it like that. <laughs> Everything upon the one <laughs> level. <laughs> well, me come first. Fair enough. I have no problem with that. I have no problem with that. All right. So we welcome those who are already locked in on the text line. And remember now, you can feel free to express yourselves. It's a real talk. That's the name of the show. So if it's your first time listening and you're wondering what's going to happen now after Crazy Mookie just tore the roof down, well, guess what? These two, one and a half crazy people Hmm. will further tear the rest of it. All right? Yeah. So we're going to have a wonderful show with you guys. So we feel free to call in on 876-453-1444. Or you can send us a regular SMS on that same number or WhatsApp text message only on the same local number. That's 876-453-1444. If you are overseas, and let me say shout out to all our overseas friends, watchers, and listeners. Yes, the overseas number to hook us up is 954-338-7973. That's 954-338-7973. All right. And, of course, we're going to go to those on-the-go numbers. And we're going to also be hooking up our friends on social media, on the social media pages. So we go with the styles on the go numbers. The USA number is 712-832-2772. And Daddy Rude, who's over there playing cute, they want to hear from you. So you tell them the UK number and the Canada number. On the go. All right, the UK number is 033 033- Zero six zero six zero nine four four. That's zero three three zero six zero six zero nine four four. And the number from Canada to listen to us on your mobile or your landline phone for free is six four seven nine five seven nine six three seven. That's six four seven nine five seven nine six three seven. Is it just me or is it? Do you feel like your neck is leading a very funny kind of way to see that screen? I think my eyes and my neck. I think Psh, it's yeah, it won't probably turn around. Yes. <laughs> yes. I feel like I have it's a quick neck. <laughs> out, out All right. So our, our social media friends, bring them up. Cassidy, let's loud them up tonight. And we know, you know, we have the Facebook Live connection, right? So our friends who want to sit and relax and watch via the World Wide Web, yeah, we are on Facebook Live. So check out Styles FM 96.1. Go to the fan page. No, 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 no. Bring it back that way, darling. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Right. So check out Styles FM 96.1. Fan page for the Facebook Live connection. And our friends on Instagram, follow us now at Styles FM. And on Twitter at Styles FM961. And remember that the show is posted afterwards on YouTube. So you can always see whichever show you want to watch. Whether you saw it already and you want to see it again, you can go to YouTube at Styles FM Radio and check it out. It's as simple as one, two, three. It's Don't as simple as, me. oh, I can just give Daddy Root a coof. Oh. Yeah. So check those <laughs> out, guys, and do enjoy <laughs> the shows. Let, me, me, let me pick up my fr- our friends in Brooklyn and Bronx. In Brooklyn, it's 91.3 FM, and in the Bronx, it's 102.9 FM. All righty. Mm-hmm. So, Rude, you're in the house. Yes. And what has things been like? What... What one thing you can share with us that you did? No, no, no. Let me re- rephrase that. Tell me one thing you did last week that you were not supposed to do. I did. I did last. I know it's many. I know it's a whole lot, no doubt. But just give us one that you probably can share. Oh, um, uh, no, no, I'm, I'm thinking. How old you? Oh, I, I, 
But I don't want to not supposed to do that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to not supposed to do that. <laughs> I, I really don't want to. Well, I actually called my neighbor. Uh oh. Right? I called my neighbor. Cat giving you trouble? I, Dogs giving you trouble? I resolved that situation. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that situation has been resolved. Lord, help him now. Uh huh. Um, and me cuss my neighbor in a nice way. Mm-hmm. Class, the boy, oh, she never tell me, say, when neighbor cross the road looks so hot. Oh, Jesus. Oh, boy. So, so he was not supposed to do that for real. Yeah. <laughs> Which of them? Because never. <laughs> <laughs> no, I made out made made out in the front, you know, in the front of the yard with, with Nezi Wezi and you know, I do my fatherly thing and you know, me just say my neighbor come out of her vehicle and just walk from her vehicle to her to her grill and I said, John was start this I go on at the time. <laughs> 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 so I have to call me and say, Yo, my girl. Oh, they sit there go on. Cut out with fear house and a fair house line up directly uh-huh. in front of you understand? I said, Yo, okay. my daughter, this I go on, I never leave my make me know say this I go on. <laughs> See me? I hear that thing that <laughs> <laughs> for you. Oh boy. So oh. I, I I think I probably not supposed to do that, but I don't want to not supposed, supposed to do, to do that. that. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> well, it's good to have you on set tonight. I can tell yes. you. And last week I was so tired, I, I couldn't listen. You realize I didn't and even. Yes, I know. And this week I am so tired. I don't know if I can listen. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> even though I'm on set, I am really very tired. Absolutely. But I'll try my best to hang in there. Celia, Ropa, how are you? I trust you're fine. Yeah. You're actually talking to yourself, right? No, I'm not. Talking to Celia. Because I know she's listening. How do and Carrie over there in Canada as well. How, how do are you? you? Prove that there, because I actually look on because the Because right now, I'm sure Celia will send me a WhatsApp because she's listening. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So send I'm, me a WhatsApp, Celia. To I'm, a big your God, make sure I listen. Because <laughs> Daddy, yeah. we're going to just laugh with this corn I'm if go- she's not I'm, listening. I'm going to. And so. I'm, 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 I'm going to say I knew it all along that you were crazy. <laughs> And it has just now been proven. Let, let me just give her a minute or two. And Smuddy, we are listening. And no yes, Celia. Just text WhatsApp, her and tell us if it's send me a message right now because <laughs> <laughs> me have talked about how she has listened. So if we don't listen, I don't know Celia. Just tell us, look, you know, send clear a message. No, 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 because for proof, say, yeah, you're listening. I know she's listening. Yeah, so Sadie is who's also listening and locked in. Big ups to you, Sadie. Um, of course, hey family, yeah, big up to you. Come on, Sunning Hill, bless up to Lady Cleo. <laughs> Daddy Rude. Hold it. Hold it, brother. Don't, Don't tell her. <laughs> That's a male talking right there, I'm sure of it. <laughs> Get boy Chambers in Sunning Hill. St. Thomas also locked in. And Taz in St. Mary. So let me loud up and shout up and love up my St. Mary people tonight. Who are locked in, bright yai boy, bright yai boy, I tell you. Bright yai, big up yourself. And of course, the upholstery man in, I think it's Anata Bay. Anata Bay, somewhere no, in St. Mary. That is Bright Yai Bridge, right? Yeah, Bright Yai Bridge. And we have so many brethren around where we drive with him and we listen to the show and him introduce them to stars and they're locked in and they can't change the dial. Big up on herself right now. All the St. Mary, massive and crew, locked in. The Styles FM and the Real Talk, pick up yourself. All right? And our friends over there in St. Anne, the beautiful parish of St. Anne, a very huge parish. Big ups to you wherever you are in St. Anne, and you can hear us or you can watch us. Yeah, man. Yep. Welcome to the show. Y- you and know, whichever other part of the parish or the island, rather, those further west. Big ups to you as well, yes? Yeah, that's all. We go one place um, in St. Thomas a couple of weeks ago when you're in Buckingham. Buckingham? Right. In where? St. Thomas. You go from Fontil. So I'm going to eat ice cream. <laughs> oh, gosh. You go from Fontil and you drive. Fontil? Yeah, Fontil. You have a place named Fontil, St. Thomas too? Yep. Where are you going to find Fontil? Up at Fontil. Yeah, well... Dumbbell. <laughs> Which way you drive for go front hill? Seaford? Um, yeah, it's Yala- the Seaford side. Um, oh. You, you go, you go, I don't even know about you go, like, you go towards um, Trinityville. Trinityville. Okay. Yeah. Oh, there's a cold, you know? The further up you go, it's very cold, you know? Yeah, front hill is supposed to be cold. I want to see which way you go, though. Jesus. Gaffinara? No. Um, you got to see which way you go, Gaffinara? 
No, man, we're going to look on the cemetery. Oh! The okay, so your job, we can look on the, something there. The too. road and the cemetery, we're going to look on Oh, is your cemetery and full then, or it can hold more people? Yeah, it can hold more people. Oh, okay. Um, and and we're afraid. No, sir. Are you afraid of Freddy, you know? Like me no, self, yeah. sir. Me, 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 me tell you what I do already, man. City <laughs> 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 uh, Naples in Florida. Good night to you, too, my darling. In Naples, to be exact. Guess what? We tell you a whole lot more, and we load up some more people when we get back from our break. It's now 9.30, and the time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. And Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting Stick Around. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 899. Three, two, two, six, six. Some say that Zika, Dengue and Chikungunya are found in water and that by drinking the water we can get infected. But that's false. Zika, Dengue and Chikungunya are transmitted through the bite of a mosquito that breathes in stagnant water. Protect yourself and your family. Are you sick of living an average life and tired of just getting by? Do you want to take your life to the next level? Learn the secrets of the super successful. Listen to Power in a Half Hour with Coach Mark this and every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. Learn the habits of the super successful and how to make these habits work for you. Learn to turn your dreams and desires into reality. You can win in the game of life. Let Coach Mark show you how every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 at 10 p.m. Planning a party, club night out, stage show, a gospel concert, or even a business sales event? Let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low-priced promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Styles FM for the most effective way to exploit your marketing dollar. Remember Styles FM on social media. View us on YouTube, Styles FM Radio. Follow us on Instagram at Styles FM. Like us on Twitter at Styles FM 961. Become a fan on Facebook, Styles FM 96.1. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Adele Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily the views of Native Broadcasting Network or Styles FM. Yes, welcome back to Real Talk. And of course, if it's your first time, if it's your first time texting us on the WhatsApp, it would be nice to have your name so we know exactly who we refer to when we see the messages. Oh, oh Lord. <laughs> Marvin, there are two people in all black, Marvin. Is which one is you? Far left. Far left, yes. Far left. We can't see your face. I guess that's the whole point, right? Yep. To not see his face. <laughs> yep. Oh, it's Halloween festivities up there. But yep. guess what? It's the beginning of sweet, sweet November. November 6th. <laughs> that's my birthday. So you're gonna be you one, forget. You're going to be older. I'm not going to be older. I'm going hey. to be prettier. Yep. Yeah. You, you know I reached me today? <laughs> we got doctor. Oh, Lord. And when the lady, you know, with the name of the chest, you're pressure, you're sugar and all mm -hmm. kind of something, asks me my age. Oh, me my. Say, 42, I think. <laughs> I really couldn't remember. I so think... when me go to the doctor now, and the doctor see the man say, my youth, you're 42, you're 43, come in the barn and see him, they see me, everything. 
<laughs> and I said, boy, you have me a think, you know, and I better say, well, I just see it. I tell the nurse. But you know, think. the funniest thing, I pushed my age back so many times that I really have kind of lost count so many times too yeah, because I keep pushing it back. He tells tell me some of the time where my do is a subtraction. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Remember. November 6th is the very sweet, sweetest day of, no well, one of the sweetest days in November. Yeah. Yes. What makes November 6th sweet? A very sweet and Bruno's loving sister, sister was born oh, at the Victoria Jubilee Hospital in Kingston. To whom? Uh, of whom do you speak? To a man and a woman named Janet up there in St. Thomas. Yellow for Janet. White or St. Thomas. And David over there in St. Andrew, Temple Hall. Yes. And what's the, what's the, the name of such? Her name Child. is Claudine Lewis. What's her middle name? Emma. Pardon? It's not pretty, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't take you. Winsome. We don't know who That's it is. my month. No wonder why me just love off Winsome, so you know, man. She's a fourth. Sure, man. She's the a fourth. fourth. Oh my God. We are indeed very loving people. If it's true, Mama Winsome, right, Cassidy? We're not loving. I'm going to ask you again. We're loving the Cassidy. We're not loving. Okay. <laughs> yes, and I can so, go on. <laughs> we're very on. loving and sweet and romantic. And can I miserable too? Oh, Lord. Why you couldn't say, oh, Lord, when I said we were sweet? <laughs> eh? What? <laughs> Oh, but all the people who were born in November have very special love and organ troops to all of Uno. Yes, man. We're very sweet for true. Yes. So sure Celia that. was born. Celia, what the message there? When Nyla born? November? No, when Nyla born, I mean, good birthdays, you know. Because if Nyla did born November, then I would give it to November. <laughs> but since she wasn't born, you're going to leave November. Nyla alone. Pick up yourself, Sister Nyla. And of course, I think Tamika. Gordon Fraser is locked in as well. Good night to you, Tamika. Yes, Kimoy. Andrea in Hampton, Co Hampton Court. That's St. Thomas, right? Yes. Yes, locked in. Holy Shanice in Port Maria. Um, Althea in Long Road. Yes, Otti, Otti, Althea. Mm -hmm. So let me get back to my big ups quick, quick. Let me shout out now to our friends and family of Styles of Femme and Real Talk over there in St. Thomas. And let me say a special big ups tonight to my mom, Janet, and my daddy. My, uh, I have two daddies. I'm lucky. Daddy Winston and Uncle Barry and, daddy and Rude. brother Nell and Daddy Rude who works in St. Thomas. Yes. And all my other friends and family and classmates from high school living in St. Thomas, big up on herself. And Jojo, who is all the way in Portmore. Yes. We got a call on the nine, on the four, five, three. Good night, caller. Welcome to Real Talk. Good night. Good night. What's going on, sir? Hi, Ruth. Oi, old dog. <laughs> because what because because what make caller <laughs> why you must run from us sweet nice loving people who if you don't provoke we we don't get mad we don't mean it's lie you're telling it's lie i know you lie you lie you lie remember people don't mean none at all we're loving and kind and caring don't do it me now i'll talk to you again after tonight <laughs> it's just there are always exceptions sir there are always exceptions but for the most part, the most people I know about November, loving and sweet and kind. What? No, sir. That's your experience, sir. I mean, you're the giant dog, sir. Well, you're just bad lucky, Osh. <laughs> Maybe I hear the problem too, you know, you who to tell. What do you do? You can't have a dog or a dog or a dog. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Dri um, drive through that little part there, sir. But never drive that part there still. Yeah, but we know that we know that road there. If you turn it off, if you turn it off, me and you. If you turn it off, me and you tonight. What? 
So you try and make sure, say, you call us back throughout the show when we start the discussion so we can know, say, yeah, listen. <laughs> it's all right. You're not achieving good fun with it, but it's all right. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> it's all right. We're going to see. All right, my darling. Take care. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh we drive through, we drive from Deso, and we end up back at Yalas. Mm hmm. And would you believe that styles pick up through all of them hills? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, man, right through the hills. That's great. You know, between Fontilla and Goba, them place there. Mm. You know, road, road well, well worn bush still. Mm, deep bushing. Yeah, oh. but <coughs> you know, all the political farming going in the area there, so you know. Nice little community still. Nice, <laughs> nice little community. <laughs> all right. Uh, Diana, or is it Diana or Diana? In St Stanton Road, St. Uh, Thomas. Could be Diana too. Uh, Diana. It could be either. Dirty Diana. Uh. <laughs> when some said, tell the man if you watch him out. <laughs> <laughs> George is locked in from Cuba. That's a newbie. Good night, George. George. Georgie See? Porgy. Pudding and pie. Pudding and pie. Kissed the girls and made them. Of course. They didn't cry. Mm. I don't think they cry with George. And when the boys came out to play, why would they run away? Because we're not playing with no boy. We're not playing with no boy. Cuba crew locked in. Big ups to you. The boy, they come, want to come play. Burn up. Brr. So what happened to Zaddy? Cleo? Zaddy? Who? who? <laughs> okay, and Daddy. I'm a Zaddy for you. Zaddy rude. <laughs> all right guys so of course we big up big up also our friends right here in portland home of styles fm and we know a lot of portlanders are also locked in and listening in gary big up yourself at, in bone brook locked in as well um d jen you realize those persons in. that you mentioned don't message in right now right so you know say i was correct celia is going to message me she's in the bathroom she's having a shower you see, even make it worse, Cassidy. She actually, <laughs> she, she's there. <laughs> see, see, people, I know when... George, when, uh, up. Me, yes, me, George. I know this kiss of No, I know Cecilia, listen. I know this is what you want. Maybe she's just not ready for his text yet, but because she... I she bet have, you have an imaginary she friend. She a beard. Celia? No, I'm saying, be, I bet you have an imaginary... Or had a, an imaginary friend. You? Me? <laughs> <laughs> Who came to my real life experience eventually. <laughs> All right, so guys, you know, the week has been um, so many yeah. things. Some bittersweet stuff went on. A lot, lot of bitter. One of them was um, the reggae girl that was... Fatally stabbed. What's her name? For real? Um, I don't know about that. Gosh, the name just evaded me. Clark. Miss Clark. Uh, where? Um, I th I'm suspecting it's in half a tree. I, I, mm. I'm trying to remember if I got the, the, the venue of where it happened correctly. Um, the allegations are it's over some phone at one point I heard. Mm. Um, some friend of her, some female friend, Seriously? stabbed her to death. And you know what, what, what made me so... One stab? I don't know how many. But the young lady is like, just she just turned 20. That's mm -hmm. a baby. Pretty much a young baby. Mm -hmm. And she has a bright, had a bright future. She would have... Um, she just kind of missed out on making the team. Yeah. Some recently, recent team. But she was anticipating in January going off to study abroad mm -mm. and you, you know that's prospects for her career true and um developing and you know educational background yeah. improving and all that so this young girl just had a promising future and i'm saying you know i, I don't know like i like i said i don't know the specifics of what transpired but my thought went to the idea that some of the young people of today the 19 year olds the 20s in the early 20s um sometimes the circle of friends that they have <coughs> sorry are not necessarily the, the the healthiest because you might not have an uh, of an immediate friend who is of a certain orientation or behavior or attitude or personality but then 
you know that friend knows somebody else who you're angry to. Yes. Where all along you kind of like click up sometimes and you know hang out. Nothing is wrong with hanging with friends, but when you pick up that, there are certain kind of people who when them the, at when it. The energy not right. Yeah, energy not right, and then it does at up. You try to stay away from that. That's it. Real thing. You know because me, I say, what could I really up now? If I even want phone, we should, if I text you, take out your phone. Let us say for argument's sake, call the police, report it. We don't know. Find some other way for me to get and come to some solution to your problem. We don't understand now why one never for draw or want whatever them use. True. You know, ice breaker, screwdriver, whatever they use. And I have a friend who said, who always say, when you pull a weapon, that can kill somebody. You know, stop to think. You know, things say the anger we're going to use. Remember, say, we, we we remember, know. We remember you know, majority of the time when you see people reach over there, so, at the thin line between Twin. sanity, sanity and, and insanity. Yeah, so, 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 them go over insanity, do what, what they want to do, Yo, come, and back, come to, back to, uh, to and reality. And then it haunts them forever. And, right. Because how do you live with knowing that you knew this girl or your friend and all got discrepancy or something? And she just gone as a result of you just just scuff out the girl life just so like mm -hmm. why do we have to draw for the weapons? I don't make <coughs> understand. Tom Pardon. No, I don't man, know. no fighting. Exactly, I agree. No fighting. But the, the point I'm making, and I, and I agree with you. I'm not endorsing fights. But No <laughs> more eating off daddy road. <laughs> you need you deserve coffee. <laughs> <laughs> What? So somebody's agreeing, um, is co co um, concurring that it happened in half a tree. She played for the under twenty. They uh, is her oh, best friend. God Almighty, even worse, what's Sarah? Yeah, I know. You know, it's it just painful. It's like you can't find words. You, you can't find. You never know how to describe the feeling one man have. You know, when you hear stories like these, mm -hmm. and I'm like, where do you stop to you know stop to think say? The moment I draw something with a sharp um, point, it's not worth it. It can't be worth it. None at all. So, I don't know. It's, um, it's, it's unfortunate. The, the, Condolence to the mother, the father, the family members, um, dear friends who are mourning the loss of this young lady. It, it's just too tragic. I can't, I don't know. It's the, sad. sad. The other one that I heard of, I've been pretty much out of touch with what's happening. Is the is a guy where I drive through I think Greenwich Farm area the Kingston and him splash some people. Oh God, man! I, <laughs> that is mercy. He's, what happened when he splashed them? Because I, I didn't him, get all that story. What either. I heard him him actually stop and apologize. Oh my God! Yeah, oh my God! Apologize and then mob him. What is happening? What is happening to our local society? These things can be okay, and I mean at. I think it's time they bring in some stringent measures for things like these because this man not supposed <coughs> to lose him. People are splashed. People are never stop for say nothing. True. Right? And what is... I mean, yes, you're going out and you're splash up and you're vexed. Yes, you're vexed till you're warm bus because probably you're nice, nice clothes. Come on, man. That can't work the man's life, man. That cannot be worth the man's life. All of them to use filter and slap you with it. It can't be worth the man's life. So if me slap it with filth right now. That's a whole different story, my That's a whole <laughs> different ball game. <laughs> <laughs> but the point I, 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 I make, didn't say it was going to be mine. Uh, um, uh, no, the point uh, I'm uh, making uh, is... I could a rat. You, splashing with water. And sometimes, you know, I'm not picking up for something. these drivers. There are times when the drivers really, really don't see the hole. But it but, happens. But listen, and but, again, it's a Kingston or Kingston oh setup. God, man. The road, the, road them. the road are the drain. Yeah. Because, you, you know, they don't have the drainage system where I run underground like many other places. At the road itself, the water are rushed. And if you ever depend on Mountain View Avenue, mm -hmm. when rain are falling, mm -hmm. you will see say, a river you are driving. At. And some of them can't go slow for true to but. But here up now, you also have people from time to time, them actually stand up right where the puddle is. Yeah. Right, so they're kind of smart. You know, the, 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 the youth could never deserve not like that, man. Not right. like that, but true. Serious, uh, some Trust serious me. things reach him, man. Serious things reach the youth, and boy, I don't mean, know what the mindset there with some of the people. Them, the mm. convict resolution method yeah. that where them choose yeah. to, where them choose yeah. to um, yeah. employ. It just yeah. not right. You know, you try, you, you, you try for say boy, 
you want to live peaceful, but again, you have a next set of people that just what, what just war mongers, yeah, yeah man. I will do anything to get you out and out, up and out. Greenwich Farm, me know, me know some of them little back road the way you're now, they try to take for avoid for evade traffic and things. How? No, no, I, honestly, I am not one to promote violence. Violence, and a young boy, too, you know, him, <sighs> him, him, him work a wharf, them say. And st- the young man stopped to say sorry. Mm-hmm. And I let him, let him, that's what his demise was. Demise, yeah. It no, rough I'm one. not a vigilante justice kind of person on the, 100%. But the rapist, them, and when you prove that the rapist, them, uh, I don't know, I don't have no. And the murderer, them, it's a different feeling. But vigilante justice, I don't me not really in for it like that. You don't deserve that. The man never deserved that. Call her on the 954. Good night. Welcome to Real Talk. Hi. Who are you calling to? Me or Daddy yeah. Road? We are, we are. Daddy Road in Claudia. Oh, I didn't hear you, sir. I'm sorry. Hi. <laughs> oh, man. Daddy Road, Daddy, Road, Daddy Road is a guest on the show, man. Okay, yes. I'm, 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 I'm <laughs> talking to the host. It's Claudine, actually. Oh, Claudine. Claudine. Hey, Claudine, yes. how you doing? Pronounce the A-U properly, no, sir. Don't say Cla. Like no. Daddy Road. Hey, Claudine. <laughs> That's right, my brother. That's right. Mm. How you doing? <laughs> good, good. All right. Question for you. Yes. You, you're you're in at the school system. Uh huh. Um. All right. Um. In at the seventies, I'm never school. Mm hmm. Um. Primary school. Um. Then and, and high school. Mm-hmm. Then used to teach a thing I'm called civics. Is it? Mm hmm. Or and civic. not only that. Physics or yes, civic? Civic, civic. Civic, civic, civic. Yes. Mm-hmm. Talk about government thing yes, and how you, and... how, you, how, you, how you comport yourself. Yes. All right. But especially in, high, in, in primary school, I remember we used to have lessons and classes where you learn how to comport yourself. Yes. How you, how you relate to, to, uh, to your yourself. Um, Classmates and so. Yes. All right. Um, that's still going. Um, no. Tell him I know. L- let me say. Tell him I know. Let me answer the question, sir. So civics is um, proposed and it's on timetables in many schools, if not all, where there's at least one session per week where civics is supposed to be um, really related to the students or taught to be taught to the students but i also know that as it relates to i'm not i i i'm not sure if that part of it is still in the civics curriculum today but i know that they have what is called the hfle what is that health and family life education and what that aspect of it also caters to is what you've just mentioned pretty much like the conflict resolution skills that children need to learn and to develop so yes in essence it comes out in the curriculum but in a different probably a different format but it is supposed to be taught and guidance counselors as well as teachers should have these kind of sessions where children are taught how to (coughs) coexist <clears throat> sorry, with each other, how to relate and interrelate with each other and resolve issues, find solution, the best solutions to their problems. So yes, in essence, it's taught in schools. Yes. Okay. All right. You know, you know, m- m- ask a question there because um. All right. But me done. Hold well, on. Before you go there, so you yeah. don't say that that same family life something that like, must be the same subject when they, when they want to introduce certain things to the kids, though. You know. In Jamaica. Well. A couple of years ago, um, that introduce family, certain that things that they introduce at Canada. We never, we never, we, we never, we never got through the, that fam, family life thing. Mm. But um, all right, you, historically in a Portland, you, you, you have you have far less um, um, conflicts that 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 um, peter out into 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 violence or death. And, it, and anywhere else in, in, in other country. Yes, but we have seen some increase in that lately, though. Even though it's still well, the lowest, but we have seen some increase. Yes. All right. Well, when when me I grew up, when me, when me I grew up, you never ever hear about anybody in a school. I, I heard somebody else in a, in a Portland. A Portland I grew up in. A, yeah. Never ever that never ever happened. Wow. All right. And 
and um, and I attribute that to what well, I mean, a second grade, third grade, fourth grade, sometimes uh, upon Fridays, then make sure, sir, um, these, I, I mean, it, it, I don't think it was called conflict resolution at that time, mm-hmm. but, you, uh, you know, but you know how to comport yourself with your, uh, with, 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 with your, with, with your classmates. And so, so you never had no. fights? No, sir. Really? <coughs> no, sir. I thought fighting was a de- age, uh, years old kind of thing that sure and just no, get involved no, in every I mean, now and that, again. That, I mean, that might, that, that might happen pan, pan, pan the play field where, where probably a boy I try, I try to take your, take your lunch money and, and, and uh, you know, but, but teachers are, are headmaster would I, would I intervene? Uh-huh. So I would, I would I nip it, nip it in the bud, right? That's all. Right. We never have security detail at, at, at school. I was about but, to but, ask you if it is that you no, ever no, had we, security guard no, back man, in those days. No, we never have them thing there. Wow. But the, yeah, but 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 the point I'm trying to make is, you know, um, I you know this violence thing in Jamaica, you know, and and, and that's something you can you, you can police, you know, that's something that has to be ingrained from your five, six, seven, eight, nine, I come up. Mm-hmm. You know. So, so when you reach 1920, you not you, you not have to resort to resort to carry a, a broken back in your bag or ice mm-hmm. stick or scissors or, or knife. You know, so so all them all, all, all these 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 interpersonal relationships that gone that go, go gone so mm-hmm. Not to choose it back. Not to choose it back to to when I. But 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 when I when I teach in middle school, no no, I don't I don't I don't know if, if this was part of the syllabus at the time. Uh-huh. I was just that the teachers at the um, at the time just 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 take it upon themselves um to do that because because it would make teaching this teaching the kids in class much easier mm-hmm. for them job but, 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 um, would be much easier if them if them have kids who are more um <clears throat> inclined for you know to be more friendly then. Mm-hmm. But 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 you know, as you said that, um, I, I I I what came to mind is the fact that while it is that yes, from home is where it all starts at age nine or ten, and you you know you teach them certain values and principles and so on. That's all good, and that's yes. that should be done. But then you find that there are other factors, other variables that are really pulling against against what probably a parent would try to do. For example, you have the societal influences, meaning the, the very environment in which you live. So a child in a particular soci- community in Jamaica might see the opposite of what mommy and daddy teach them happening out there, and they think that, okay, my peers are doing this, um, the community members, the men in the community are doing this, so maybe this is where... As they grow older, maybe this is where I should be too or what I should be doing to resolve my issues too. So that happens. And then sometimes they fall victim to peer pressure and they think that if they're not in the clique with a particular set, then they don't feel like they belong. So that's another issue. Because I saw a video, it was, I think it was in, from Trinidad or one of those Caribbean islands, where the kid was on, they were on the school, on the bus, and another, a bigger boy or the bully or the quote-unquote bad boy, was beating on another little youngster in the seat, boxing him in the face, thumping up in the face, and he, he wasn't even defending himself. Probably was hoping that the guy would just stop punching him, and the other students sat there, did nothing, because probably they were all afraid. So how do you speak yeah, to no one is aware? Well, that's, that, that's a natural idea, yeah. I mean, how many, how, how, how many ten-year-old, twelve-year-old kids? I, I, I got to try intervene when I, I bully, I try beat up you. Yeah, but the, the, the point I'm saying, the, the young man not even defend himself. He probably is afraid to defend himself. Mm. You know, so where do kids get this thing that they should? They, they no longer are just like taking out people's money, which is awful, but they are also beating on them. Some of them get beaten to the point where it's life-threatening sometimes, and it's like. Your hands are tied because, you know, the society will tell you, the leaders will tell you, oh, um, there are certain age and they are juvenile and they are children and they, they don't meet certain um, penalties they don't, that don't reach them. Well, you know, a, they, they, don't pay, idea, idea, they don't pay for, for what they do. Well, it's not, it's not my idea. 
when 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 that thing happened, I got tell the teacher, I tell the tell the headmaster, hey, when I got tell the teacher, you know, they you they who 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 Oh, no, 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 no. Not the case at all. Can't be the case. Look, oh, oh. look, look how you look. <laughs> hey, look how you look. Can't be the case. Hey, look how you look. You know what? Hey? We're up on yeah. the 10 o'clock yeah, break, Dan Dan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we can't back. All right, later. It's now 10 o'clock. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. This is you. <laughs> and Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. Stick around, guys. We'll soon come. Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 89. Guess what? Styles FM has a new business number for you to call, text, and now WhatsApp. 518-2399. To advertise your business and events, call, text, or WhatsApp us on 518-2399. 518-2399. Don't forget, 518-2399. Good day, driver. You know to start your parking in a no parking zone. You know so you can get a ticket for this, sir. Really, officer? But just want to pick up some hardware supplies, you know. Do me a beg you. Give me a blind, you know? So if you need hardware supplies, why you don't go to Ramtula Supercenter and hardware? Ramtula Supercenter and hardware, 34 Folly Road, Portland, Tony, Portland. We stock a wide range of products at the best prices in town. At Ramtula's Hardware, experience the three C's, comfort, competitive prices, and convenience. Ramtula Supercenter and Hardware, opens 8 a.m. to midnight, seven days per week. Call 715-5132. Email ramtulasupercenter at gmail.com. Remember, we have the best prices in town. town. Here's your Prince just touched down in at the airport. A royal date to everyone. It's Shungi with the voice of DJ Prince. Your royalty of music selection. Represented for my show, your show, E-Tour. Every Saturday night from 8 p.m. to 12 midnight. With mixed moves and attitudes. And ladies, don't forget the special D-Tour hour from 11 to 12 midnight. Styles FM, the world listens. You just gotta tune in. Mm-hmm. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and extra systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily the views of Native Broadcasting Network or Styles FM. Welcome back. You heard it. Yep. All right. So welcome back to Real Talk with Daddy Rude and your truly Lady Cleo. And of course, we see quickly what's happening on the WhatsApp connection. Um, who else we have up there? All right. We acknowledged most of those persons already. Patricia. Yes, we acknowledged most of them already. Well, All right, guys. So, you know, Talking about the whole um, conflict resolution and them something there. You see, again, you know, the, especially the millennia oh boy. people. Them, I don't feel like it already. Right? Them scare they, me. They, they, them not get that chance really if socialize socialized much, you know. Well, they, they, them go school. But how much of them really they are school and focus on the lesson itself and not mm. focus on the, the whole task at hand. But What's your opinion on the notion that the method of teaching nowadays is outdated? You know, why teach a child timetable when they can do it on pan, the pan, 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 um, phone or so? <laughs> you know, why, why, why... It's a debatable issue. You know, books... Some amount of makes bo- sense to it. Books, <laughs> b- books, asking people to go books and when you have um, 
everything out there. You, you don't have to go to the library again. Why, why about asking yourself to join the library? But, but we can when never... You, when you have resor- a we, resource center, them call it. Yeah, but should know? we throw out all the possible options? Because you do have different types of learners, for one. You do have different types of um, backgrounds in terms of affordability, so, socioeconomic you know, situations, um, situations right. right? Where there are people who really can't afford the gadgets. There are parents who can't afford them. There are children who can't afford them. And there are some who can buy their, their own gadgets, if you ask me. Mm-hmm. But the point is, if it is that you have a system where the books provide the same information, just not, not necessarily as readily as the internet or the, the, you know, the computerized era, but don't throw it out because we view you. that it's outdated. Because there are children who still go to the library. Maybe not, not, in, not in that many no, numbers. But there are people who still go to the library and they read. And there are those children who can't afford a gadget and they'll go to the library and they'll read. And they can end up becoming very successful just the same as probably a child who has gadgets. But I, so don't throw it out. No, I'm not asking for children. But I think of the, where we are going. Because think about this. Uh, there is not a child right now where that is under the age of, say, three years old mm-hmm. and not come in touch with Baby Shark. <laughs> not come in touch with um, Coco Melon. <laughs> right? All them stuff where parents use as a means of entertaining, but the reality is distracting their child from asking of them or us as parents for the attention. Mm. So by the time a, a parent opens yeah. up his phone and him go up on YouTube, yeah. bam, Coco Melon. And if the child's right? having trouble and they give them that phone, they're quiet. Quiet. And don't hear from them for the rest of the day. It's because the entertainment, entertainment is, yeah. But it is not learning the traditional way. Right. Giving, giving, giving them the chance to ask questions. Right. And to, you know, discover things. So, what do we do? Because we're, we gotta check a balance. We, we, we gotta check a balance. Things are now being created to so-called help, help, help you, make it things easier for you. Put information at your fingertips. Yeah, nothing is wrong with that so much, you know, because this is the way. It's, it's just the way it is. It's what it is, and we gotta either stay up, keep up, or mm. it's gonna go ahead of, of us. Right. So it's it's good to keep up, but then it's also important and i strongly believe it's important that parents instill traditional ways of doing things because once upon a time we used to run the child inside to go talk about book and then ramp too much dandy shandy yeah. cricket football with a kind of box and something and True. roll the tire with a two piece of stick and yeah. all them something there and ride a piece of old bicycle you read enough man i i know what's happening yeah, I know. Because I, I, I know I must read it, read it. I couldn't experience the experience. <laughs> I did a little of that. It's a little. A very Which small one? amount of the tire one in the country. One. In the country. You, used to, you, used to, you used to play as, um, upscotch? Yes, man. At school. Mm, scrunchy? Yes. I still like scrunchy and Chinese baseball. Skip? Yes. Is it the Chinese gift? Yes. Call it on the. Mm-hmm. What about B word? You know B word? Uh-uh. You know B word, Cassidy? Caller on the 453. Good night, caller. Let me enjoy the B-word. Come, let me enjoy the B-word. No, I'm going to box you. Caller, good night. <laughs> Who do we have online? You know that. You will get it clear. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We have this one continent. This one technology thing. Right? Yes. The two don't need any classroom anymore. Simple. Don't need any what? Classroom. Cla- classroom. Okay. But why not? We can you can bring the gadgets and the technology to the classroom too, no? And you still have a facilitator or a monitor who monitors the children. Yes, but I have three years old baby now. We give him a phone. If I not tell the mother, you. <laughs> True. That's because parents um, allow that to happen. That's not supposed to happen. But if it was parents, you know, a woman, poopa then. <laughs> yes, right? yes. I, I know kids. Oh, younger than three years old, who when you speak to them in English, in English, they understand. They're technology-oriented, yes. They do have tablets and gadgets. But when you speak to them, when you, you know, use that regular, old-fashioned way of communication, 
And that's a part of their lives very, 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 very um, strongly. So parents have to know how to balance. Teach the children how to use the technology, yes. Make them understand how to research and find information, but also teach them good communication skills. The communication is the home, is the poor now. It's very what, poor? No, your phone. It's the poor, it's the communication in the home now. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. That's very yeah. unfortunate. Uh -huh. And they have no time because you ask too much question, man. No, so you ask them too much something. Can't, I mean, no. And they just give the child the gadgets to just go and kill the time with it. But parents need to ensure that they have time when they communicate with the picnic them. What happened at school today? Good. Explain Good. this concept to me. No problem yet. Watch the news together and talk about it. I don't know. There are so many things the parents can do, but they're not. As you said, for true, there is really no communication. And when they do communicate, as you say, it's WhatsApping, text messaging, you know, and they talk to their friends on the phone, and then they hardly even talk to the kids. And they're right in the same house beside them. And these kids, some, some of them rush to their room and they're locked away in their rooms and parents don't hear them nor see them. And they're in their, in their rooms on their gadgets doing all sorts of things that they're supposed to do. Some of them. Even the relationship, the woman come in, the man them to sir. No, no, no. The no, man no. them come in, put on no, whatever and go no, and phone no, to. No, yes. No, no, it happens no. both ways. No. Don't be biased. We go on the phone because we go on the phone and we go on the phone and go link the catty. <laughs> we don't have fear of phone. And they go on everything. We don't have everything. Everything right now. Well, keep rich. Sang about it. Under the road. You. The guy there, where you talking about? Where with the a wicked man. Don't uh, he's a man. Uh, Maxwell Avenue. Okay, 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 okay. A uh, wicked Avenue. Uh, he's a man. Okay. I, I think a primary school down there. Man, the primary school down that side. That 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 uh, um jungle area. No. Uh, ah, yeah, you ever enter Tizam Avenue from Lindos Road? Yeah. Okay. To Maxfield side. Yeah. Man is school down there, man. Man is primary school, I think. I'm going to Avenue, I think. Okay, I don't know that's still. I don't know how to live down here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. I don't know how to live down here. I don't know how to live down here. Oh. Yeah, some here. Very sad, though. Very sad. Very sad. Very sad. Very sad. And I'm mother and son till you know. What? Mother and son. Son. So, so police hold them then? I don't know how to live down here. I don't know how to Mm. They're gone, gone where? They're running from the era. Idiot. I uh, respect. I get it on the news. Okay. So, full, full move that, that, you know? But the news say is a mother and a son. That's sad though. How would she have liked if her son splashed somebody that they gang him and beat him and kill him? That they them, that they them grow them children. That they them grow. That's why we say I call them the mama. Oh boy. Society, yeah. The same kids going by to have them ears, I swear. All right, caller, thank you so much for calling in. Repeat that? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. All right, sir. All right. Oh. But you know, oh yeah. you know, you know, I'm going to say what I'm kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm glad when I see it. One little eight year old over one pan of clothes. Mm -hmm. I wash the baggy them and then sitting there. Yeah, man. So if you go, man. I'm glad I see it. And that's cutting out too, you know. 
Yeah, a long time, you know, you know, you, you know, it's a cut you, out a, long, a, a, a machine you use. A joke, yeah, give man. A machine you use. A joke, even, even this morning, I got up early and did some laundry with my hands. Some with my hands, some with the machine. Don't do that. Me 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 a real, real real go- no, 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 no. Machine that don't go with machine. Machine you use. No. Well as well as well as you put it. Well as well as you put it on pa um zinc. Well last. Zinc. You don't even ah. When I sun, pan the line nice sun. No, you have to put it on zinc. Master, you put white clothes pan zinc for burn no, out y- with cakes. No, soap. that too. We have to put that something there. Pan the zinc. And, and, the pa- and the part the turn up Master to the sun. Why in there, sir? The part turn up to the sun. The part turn up to the sun for the line. No. <laughs> fly pitch funny for oh, the line. Jesus. Another another terrible incident. Well, you know there's a fly pitch funny. Now listen to you know. Another another bad incident that, that, that rocked my world this week was a little boy, seven year old, who died as a result of the truck unmanned. Oh Lord. Truck overturning. That just wrecked me. Body so hard, yeah, man. Rip some, me out. some, Rip some, me. some, some freak accident going yeah, somewhere really. after one day, yeah, right? yeah. But had it been, had it been manned, chances are, chances are, so there was no one driving it at the time, they came out, and, and I can't fathom what it was doing if it was in operation but unmanned, M- maybe, maybe they never pull up the emergency, yeah. I don't know, but let's turn it, turn over, me no, me no, no, me no, no. Was I don't know if the person was in it, but it said an unmanned truck crushing that. Oh Jesus, man! Rough so, thing. Some something happened for true in other society in another the country where you're saying to yourself, you, you said this could have been avoided. The chance that this could have been avoided. You know mm. what I mean? It's I mean, you know, it just one cursed upon we are what we know. There's something right, people. We, we know pray enough. Why we know have faith. Enough in the soup, in a, in a higher power. Too we much, not live right. Too much we fun, heart man. not right. What? Too much phone. Jesus. Yeah, lose touch of reality. Oh, boy. We are fast with what I go on in, a, in a other country and not focus on what I go on for we want. <laughs> That's it. To the sunlight, baby nappy. <laughs> I remember that one. Baby nappy one. I, I tell you, I remember. Lady Grace, big ups to you, you know, too. You remember them big, them, them big, them big on. I used to use nappy on Jody. Where, where, where something named them, them big pin there? Yes, man. With, 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 the, with the pretty little. Yes. Colors at the end and stuff yeah, and little man. shapes. I know those. And as you put on one nappy, so. <laughs> two, two. You see, turn like a curry night. They never wash it good. No. You never wash it As good, you put man. it on, they, they mess it up. I don't know about that part. They never wash it two, good. Two, you see, that's wet up. And you, and you do I have to put on the bed, a plastic thing, yeah. and then the, 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 the sheet. Oh, gosh. I remember those days. So, you have an experience when you know, the, the, the nappy dude up and the baby are walk and the dude are drop to the side? No, never put it on the part. But we see the color. One lump, not the bottom. Yeah. So, you, you have an experience where the, where the baby are going in a nappy and take it out and carry it on gear? Eh. Uh-uh. I don't think I don't think the baby's back. Jordan the 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 brought up good then, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. Jordy, come on. Oh boy. What the fun there? Oh boy. Um, all right, guys. So uh, let's look at our vox pop tonight. You know we have a vox pop for you. So we are gonna dive right into that. Please remember the numbers to hook us up as we go and um, to call in and to text in. All right and share. We we crave your indulgence. Um, nine nine. Nine five four three three eight seven nine seven three. That's the overseas line, and the local line is four five three one four four four. Yeah, four four four. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Here we go. The effects of love versus multiple. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what does love mean to you? What do you think love is? Or should I say, do you think love is necessary uh, for a relationship to work? Uh, or are there other more important factors to consider? Uh, Give examples. Have you ever experienced a broken heart? Uh-oh. If yes, what did it do to you? Mm. And I was hoping that the, vi- the, uh, the video would have been been able to be played audio for them to hear is it possible yes great I, um, so we have a video that is you know it, it, it speaks to what we're talking about very very profound and deep when, when i looked at it and i listened to it mm-hmm. i thought oh my god so many of us are guilty of some of these things that we think is love i'm not 
You are too. I am not. So what the effects of love versus whatever else that it is that we think it is, and it's oftentimes not even love. Yeah. What does love mean to you? Do you think love is necessary for a relationship to work or it doesn't even matter? You can, it can be a case where you don't love the person, mm-hmm. but, love but you respect them enough to no, make the relationship so work. Or are there other more important factors to consider than this love thing? What is love really? Uh, and know that you have principal love you see. <laughs> <laughs> love you. <laughs> Give examples of the other factors that you think are more important to consider than this love thing. Have you ever experienced a broken heart? If oh, yes, Lord. what did it do to you? Oh man. Um, and of course, when you hear the audio, you have to hear the audio guys to, to be able to make the connection with the Vox Pop. Um, in a very stronger way, all right? Because, as I said, there are things happening in relationships, for example, you know, and we think, okay, so I can't do without Daddy Road in the relationship. And the moment he's not there, it's as if my whole world is crumbling down, crumbling and crashing and... I, I start, my life is now affected, my work is affected, yeah. my, my relationships you. with my if it wasn't for me, children you you. or child or my mom or yeah. any other family member or friends, classes, mama. It, it, it just not effective anymore or no. functional because Your he's no longer gone. Yes, my life. Is that love yeah. or is it dependency? Well, you love the dependency. <laughs> Because if it's love, shouldn't I be able to stand on my own two feet and function? No. Because, yes, I love him, but if he wants to go, then because I love him, he's free to go. No, you are my slave. And because I love me... The key I love you, I love me. I give me born with you. So I am going to be able to function. Yes, I might feel... The, mi- the, the, p- the pain of missing him. You never loved me then, my dear. I'm going to miss him because I love the company and the company was good. But he's gone. Am I now going to crumble? Will my life now change for the worse yes. because this man is gone? Yes. So the question is, if you mash is, up, you is that done love? Out. Is that if you love? If you suffer Margadon. And I think it's a very profound and deep thought because when you look at it seriously, you know, is love supposed to hurt? Yeah. No. My own. <laughs> love is not supposed to hurt, right? And, and then there are so many other examples that we can look at. So you tell the woman, you ask the woman where you're coming from. Where I come from? Yeah. Where you uh, there? Worked on a long time. A young old. Why you feel that you and Mary have to go every, every weekend on a Ghana and money I go look for? And of course. Where you get that shirt there from, and it, all kinds of things that men do and women do, and you stop. Okay, is that love or is that possession, possessiveness? Yeah, because she working. Why can't she go buy a shirt if she wants to buy a blouse or a shirt? No, but if 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 the man if if the why man... can't she hang out with her friends because she has a life too and. It's a life that is supposed to be free and she should be able to be happy among her friends, not just with you, but she should be able to be living comfortably and happy, happy with her other friends as well because you love her, so you want to ensure that her other, other aspect of her life is also catered for, not just the life that she has with you. Her life should not just be surrounding you, Right? So is it love or is it obsession where you're so obsessed or possessive of this woman that she can't go nowhere unless you give her this sanction to go or unless she's going with you? Is that love? And there are people who are like that. The, if, me, if, me the, if the man says, or the woman says she wants some space, I want to be able to go out too. And if the man wants to go hang with his friends, okay, no, you can't go. Or you don't want him to go because in the back of your head, a woman him go to. Is it love or is it possession? Jealousy. Jealousy. So all of these thoughts, and I, as I said, I think it's very, very deep. Insecurity. Because, and inse- yeah, all of these things coming out. And do, does love in love 
should love find space for those things? Maybe. If it's really true, genuine love. And as the video said too, shouldn't it be free? Free for you, free for me. And we both share in one lovely union, share this love and this bond in one lovely union. Should there be so many pain and so much pain and restrictions and, you know, um, barriers to, to something that should be so beautiful? No. So I, I love, so, I love so, the so, video. So, so when you say no restriction, what do you really mean? All right. So like I just explained the, the, the scenarios I gave. All right. For example. Because they make some people uncomfortable. Yeah. What's well, the for example now? Um, your, call, your, uh, um, your ex a call, like how frequent? If, if you're not here from the person, what? Again, I would, I would have loved, um, and again, a call... I wouldn't say every day because sometimes you know, really and truly, your, 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 your mind, the person crosses your mind, your so, partner crosses your mind, and you, you, so you're so, so busy. So, so you, won't, you don't want a call if, if I ever once a day? I don't mind. But if it doesn't come, if it doesn't come, mm. then maybe no we shouldn't. And I didn't say I'm not going to feel no way, but maybe we shouldn't because what happens is if you know that the partner loves you and you love the partner, you're not going to make a big issue that. You must call me every day. If you love me, you must call me every day. Mm. I love you, I love me. Why you, you stop loving me? Why you stop calling me? You're not calling me. And you're going to find somebody putting, else to call you, don't Okay. It happens. All right. You're going to put restrictions now so no, on the fact that... So now, let me ask a question. It's, when, it's, when, when me and I call you, and you have a next man, a man, next man who is interested in you, and then I call, call you, right? You know, you know, you know don't get your call from there already, man. Where come pressure me about? <laughs> Eh? <laughs> you don't get to call him, call them. We have pressure me, but you want, you understand? Yeah, oh, if you understand the thing, no, my girl, it can't work. You have a quota, you know, there's a quota, you have, you have, you have 20 call a day, and the man call you 20. No space there for me to call him, and I run out. I, I, <laughs> I hear you. Vivian in Atlanta, <laughs> Georgia. Hey, thank you, Vivian. And of course, we have. Um, our friend there in New Jersey. Let's see what that person is saying. My ex was Scorpio. She's very loving and kind. But mm. and NJ, NJ, New Jersey. Um, what about? Please finish the statement. Uh, all right. Um, okay. So we, we, we go back to the Vox Pop and we want you to share if you think that they are putting too many restrictions on this let, love let, thing. Let me ask you a question. Um, for you, uh -huh. um, what would be your definition of love? Wow. Or, because to be quite frank with you, Putting together this box pop, mm -hmm. even putting it together, make me really I wonder mm -hmm. if me know the answer for this. Yeah, from here. true. Big man thing. Because I, pray, I, I say, looked at the video and I and I realized that and I assessed myself and mm. I'm like, you know that I find myself being guilty of some of these things. You're guilty long time, man. You 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 Ouch. guilty too. <laughs> 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 yeah, I find that sometimes we allow self to be so wrapped up, and sometimes you find that you want the person, for example. To, to do things mm. the way that you want it to be done, to please you. Yeah. Without even thinking about the other person's feeling about it. And, and, and the question is, if it is that you love the person, would you only be viewing things to be done your way, whether it's the man or for the woman, woman's perspective? Do you only want the person to be doing things the way that you want it to be done? Because, well, what is that? You're you're it, suppressing the person. I, 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 I think persons actually use it against against the other person too, because uh -huh. they will say, "Boy, if you did, if you did love me, mm -hmm. you would have did so and so, mm -hmm. and because you don't love me, make you not so and so." Because I and as I said, it, it opened my eyes a bit because I'm thinking you might find that a woman. The, the man might always be pampering her all the time. One of the time when him want pampering now. Yeah. And she not... Football time want massage. Yeah. And she, she, in her head, the bump, the it's squeeze. all about she getting the pampering all the time. Mm -mm. And she don't find that, hey, the man can't have a rough day too, you know, yeah. and feel 
battered and bruised and sure, probably have a, you know, bad experience. And he just wants his girl yeah. to give him a foot rub. Top and eyes. Wants his girl <laughs> to give him a foot rub too. Or, you know, make him feel nice to pamper him all the time too. So, yeah, man, is it selfishness? Home, me, me come home, me come home and, and we I, want everything to be done. Oh, we want it to be done. I come home and the bump ripe. And I forgot to work the next day with the right bump. But I come home in the evening and the bump didn't know more. You feel vexed? Ah. You, you feel vexed? We're up on a 10 o'clock break. 10.30 <laughs> break. I'm going to live over that, you know. I want to know if you feel vexed. <laughs> By standard of, the, of what love is, maybe I shouldn't be. Which I can yeah. bet you say, I want to know how your bump bursts. We talk about that after yeah. break. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services and Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. So forward. Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 890. Remember Styles FM on social media. View us on YouTube at Styles FM Radio. Follow us on Instagram at Styles FM. Like us on Twitter at Styles FM 961. Become a fan on Facebook. Styles FM 96.1. <laughs> Your Saturdays will now be the same again. 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Styles FM. Get the showdown. Social commentary. Tune no, one, tune. No, 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 Good morning, teacher. Love time, The Edge, your love with love song. Oh, happening. Love songs between 9 a.m. and 1 p.m. on the People Station, Styles FM, 96.1, 96.5, 96.7. Only the smooth sailing with Colin Anthony. Shock up to the pain. Business operators, local and overseas. This announcement is for you. Styles FM is an internationally known radio network with worldwide listeners in over 120 countries. From our studio in Port Antonio, Jamaica, to the ears of the people in your community, our listeners can be your new customers. Styles FM is an economical, efficient, and effective advertising option for your business. No matter the size of your business, there's always growth potential. Styles FM provides the customer reach needed to realize that upward movement. So procrastinate no more. Advertising is a must. For more details on how to advertise with Styles FM, visit www.stylesfm.com or email info at stylesfm.com or call us on 876-518-2399. Styles FM, the world listens. Planning a party, club night out, stage show, a gospel concert, or even a business sales event? Let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low price promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Styles FM for the most effective way to explore your marketing dollar. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily the views of Native Broadcasting Network or Styles of... Welcome back to the show, guys. And, of course, we were on our Vox Pop idea for tonight. I wonder where Donald is. Donald, you just crossed my mind. All right. So, 
Let's look at the Vox Pop once more, and then we're going to be listening to the audio that we're looking at that connects with the Vox Pop. The effects of love versus whatever else it is. The tears, it's tears. <laughs> what does love mean to you? Do you think love is necessary for a relationship to work? Or are there other more important factors to consider, like the tolerance? Mm. You know, paying the bills, mm -hmm. the kids being taken care of, mm -hmm. working together effectively and efficiently where time management is important. Are these more important things to consider for the relationship to work? Investment, how much we invest together, um, how well we get the best schools or the best health care for our kids. You know, that kind of, are, these, are, are there other more important things than love? Building a house, having a house together or having a house separately, I don't know. Having a good job and ensuring that we make the money to bring home. Are there more important factors than just love for the relationship to work? Have you ever experienced a broken heart? If yes, what did it do to you? And if it tore you to pieces, was it love that you were going through with the person? And if it didn't break you or phase you any at all, was it also love? Or was it the case where you loved yourself and the person enough to say, okay, so I'm hurting, but you know what? I'm good. Moving right along. What did you do or what did it do to you if you've ever been brokenhearted? Some people tell you, oh, me? I've never been brokenhearted. I have broken hearts, but I've never been brokenhearted. All right, so let's listen to this Um audio guys and yep. we share deeper and afterwards yeah yeah i'm wanting to listen listen keenly this. yeah if you want it via whatsapp me can send on a, the video too right so let me know this is what we've all been told about love that we need to find it fall in it and look for it in that one special soulmate what if i told you that these are lies this whole idea of falling in and out of love is a delusional one. Love is actually something you can't fall into. It is a state of being. Either you are it or you are not it. We're not falling in and out of love. What we're falling in and out of is a momentary craving, a desire. So this is desire. This is not love. Let's not mistake desire for love. Love is typically measured as a give and take. Your action, their actions. You do this, they do that. And then when they don't do that, you stop loving them. Well, this isn't love, this is a transaction. Let's not mistake transactionality for love. Many of us depend on our partners for a sense of belonging, validation, approval. We depend on them for all sorts of things. And when they don't deliver, well, we stop loving them. This is dependency, this is not love. Let's not mistake dependency for love. And then when we fall in love, we want them to complete us, to fulfill our every desire because we were seeking to possess them. So let's not mistake possession for love. When we fall in love with another, we expect them to stay the same way. But when they change or drastically transform, then we change our love for them. So this isn't love, this is attachment. Let's not mistake attachment for love. So what is true love? It's when you don't own the other, or possess the other, or seek to control them in any way. When you realize that the other is not here to meet your expectation, or to fulfill your fantasies, or to complete your every desire. True love, it doesn't need any condition to exist. True love, it never asks you to lie about yourself. It accepts you for who it is you are. True love, it doesn't see the outside of you. It sees the inside of you, your essence. True love is synonymous with freedom. If you are not feeling free in your relationship, it isn't true love. When you are flying free in a limitless sky, then you will know love. Until then, all the rest are imitations of the real deal. So don't stop questing. 
until you discover this liberation. And when you do, you will find that it was with Right, welcome back. So true love is free and liberating. Limitless. Yep. And unconditional. That's all. Yep. Yep. <laughs> so Lisa. <laughs> Rebellious Lisa. Good night, good night. Whatever. Cho. I think she <laughs> I I think she has um true love for Daddy Road. Oh, uh, yeah, a very unique way of showing it. <laughs> yeah, yes, and a, right, 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 right. Okay, so she rolls her eyes like whatever, man. <laughs> <laughs> Where have you been, Lisa? Oh, it says when Daddy would come back, you show your true love for him by coming resurfacing. Ah, and Rude is not then. here. I hardly see you, if ah, at all. See? Did I see her last week? No, I didn't see her on set last week at all. So well, guys, well, I, I, honestly, I doubt so she. Somebody wants the clip. I, yes. I, 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 I doubt she was. Um, I doubt she was uh, when you were absent as well, the mm -hmm. week before. I doubt she was. She, okay. she, she participated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I guess if the if if the, if the link if may not link, she not link. Okay then. Yes. All right. So please send me the clip. All right, Andrea. Um, Andrea, send me a WhatsApp on. Four three nine five one six zero. That's four three nine five one six zero. Four three nine five one six zero. And I'll then forward it to you, okay? So Lisa don't mix me. Lisa said don't mix me. <laughs> <laughs> That's love right there. We can see it. To, oh, to the to the screens we can see yeah, it. Yeah man, you know when you beat up the girl we love, or the beat up the boy we love. <laughs> yeah man, I hate that man. So but, falling in love, falling in it and falling out of it and all these things. It's not something you should fall in, right? That's what they're saying. That's what she's saying. Um, but you sh I, I like falling in love. I think I like it too. I like it. And if that's not love, love falls I like, I like that it's not love. <laughs> You know, I like, like being in it. The, them butterfly that in your stomach. Uh -huh. And you're just glad for see this muddy. You look on your and phone and you want to say, boy, if they're already oh, they not call you yet. And you but what I find happening with what that has happened to me is the person did something that really ring you the wrong way. Yeah. And you find that for the moment, for a moment, or like a few minutes, you're so mad and angry at them. Like, it's like yesterday, I said, boy, I don't know love you, I feel no more. For the moment, you know, you, and I'm like, what's that? What's that though? That Emotion, that your emotions took over your, your, your thinking ability for a moment there. Right. Because when you come back to being calm, you, that feeling of is back. So but why does it go away? Is it because human inclination and because of our emotions and we are natural persons with feelings so the feelings i know i know what happened to you what happened to everybody if you were talking about, <laughs> about, about you are you are telling about your thing i don't mind you get mad you, you go over there and come back oh my god when you put it like that it doesn't sound so good <laughs> Oh my god, I think that's what it is for Joe. <laughs> you go over there. <laughs> you cross the you line. Lick, you, <laughs> lick. <laughs> uh, you know, it's true. I don't want to say it's true. No. But it scares me now because <laughs> I can remember being there for true and I'm furious mm -hmm. at the person fuming. I'm just mad. Well, no pun intended. <laughs> and then, Massa. And you could have just punched them over. You could have, you know, could have yeah. slapped them over. You hit them. Yeah. Can't take them at the moment. You can't take them. You can't take you. Me can, no. I don't know. Me can't, can't too mock you. Yeah, me can't stand you right now. No, I said too mock. Too mock. Leave me alone, man. You said properly, my girl. You just said properly, stomach. No. That's the proper way of saying it, stomach. No, you said too mock. A too mock. Too mock. Yeah. <laughs> that was some effort right there. <laughs> I can't take him. I can't book him right now. I tell you, he's always putting me on the spot with his with his language, boy. I tell you. So it's like, as you said, for true, you wonder, is the case where you just go over the look at edge of madness? Yeah, go true? over there, man. Go over there. And when you when you calm down, no one come back and say, yeah, I forget say that I'll, you go over there. You go over there. Yeah, you forget say you go over there. You know. Which is why in many in many instances, you know, when people have an have an argument, 
when them come down, they don't remember what. Them, you know? And when one person reminds them, it's like. You can't sit in yourself home. Yeah, because in the height of it, you're like, yeah, man. You have said things where you're not supposed to say. When you're over there. Yeah. Let me see what we're mad then. No, no, me. <laughs> no, me. No, me. No, me. No, me. No, me. Oh, boy. No, me. Cleo, don't put mouth and mass in your business. Acho. Acho. Call her on the 4 5. Yes, sir. Go right ahead, call her. You're online. On air. Um, so, this thing was people that have about love and quarrel and love and stuff. You know what I'm going to say? Eh? A disaster, then the man. Disaster? Of course. A disaster, you have to the problem. You see what Eh? Then I will say, love nice, the white earth. If love so nice, then white earth so bad. Because it's nice. nice. So you're saying it shouldn't hurt? If it's good, it can't hurt you. Oh. So me ask, they're in a relationship. Yes. Each other, much more than that. Nobody can talk about the love thing. And you go to work, and leave for this morning, you go to work, you have to call the person. Doesn't mean this one by one call in the band. And and if you not call them backs? And you know, me, 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 So what? So you're, you're cold hearted? And of course, I did. How are you? Why you know that something about damage? I, 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 you know, it's a cross the road. When I leave a coming, go and look at that. Why cross it? No, you don't have to cross when the car is coming. You can cross after the car passes or before it reaches you. No, that is not cold hearted. So I'm asking you, how would you, what does love mean to you then? What is love for you? Just go to work, come in, get a dinner, go to your bed. Dance if you dance a night there, get up again, go next morning and gonna gonna work, she gonna work. What's love for you? That's is that's love? You can communicate with the person in your family by good evening, when you have a seat, when you communicate with each other. It's love thing when I wish you talk man. So 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 you're just tolerating each other in a, in the same space? And getting some affection when you feel for some affection, you give her some money if you feel for give her some money. No, look here. What you want to watch is the matter. Give them love spell demo anyway. At that number one. What's all your love spell? I don't spell love. S E S E X? No, don't want to go in there. I'm asking you how you spell your love. Don't tell me what kind of. That is a thing to the trend. I'm asking you, how would a male spell love? You say a woman spell love money. And I'm asking you if men spell, how do men spell love? I don't spell. <laughs> so why do women spell and a men, men not spell? What? When I get that? They spell love money. Their love is money. So what is a man's love? What is a man's love? Mm -hmm. We have work on this man, Dad. What is your love? Okay. Very interesting. And do what you and do what you know is supposed to do to your family. Are your woman or your girl or whatever. Treat are good and that. Oh, okay. And it's a rich relationship. And it break up. Mr. That woman did and we move on. Uh -huh. It didn't hurt you? What? When she passed away, that did not affect you? Yeah, yeah. It's a problem. One woman hurt me already. I'm still in bed. I'm mean, getting my wife. I'm in mean, no love with nobody. <laughs> oh, so that person did that. Per that person broke your heart. I mean, the fool bought me love. Eh? I was. Mean, I just took it out. That bought me love. I'm mean, not doing the love thing no more. Mm. Okay, that is enough. Okay, sir. I hear you. He just tolerate. All right. Yeah, man. I don't mind opinion, you know. All right, sir. All right, so there are persons out there who will tell you straight up, based on one experience or two or more than one experiences that they've had, them shut off certain way. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering if it is that that is the truth or deep inside they feel what they're feeling, but they're not going to show it. It's a, it's a, um, it's a psychological thing? Smoke screen. 
okay that that that, that that's not the, the that's not the, the 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 real 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 feeling mm. you know i mean i mean just like what i'm saying what does what does love mean to you defense mechanism probably um for some people for some people some people hide it and then fight and and, and them like off the person and them find every reason why they not feel like the person mm. you know but but as he said um in, in a deal with love just tolerance tolerant apparently it's tolerance because he says oh treat treat your, your partner right and you know the way you know you're supposed to do and so that sounds like okay so you're in and i'm wondering i just said smoke screen not identifying the real issue the underlying mm -hmm. issues because what would make you want to continue um treating this person a certain way Maybe coming home to them companionship hmm so could you just stay in your house and have a companion with your your your, your, your dvd your cds no, your it don't, internet it, it don't your, your phone to, you. to communicate with and to watch some different kind of interesting movies that you want to watch and enjoy yourself and that's it isn't that communication as well it's not companionship it's a form for some people that anybody have that them deal with necrophilia man okay so you're saying that there are people who just want companionship they don't love nothing and they just go for that with somebody yeah and and and, and, and i strongly believe that some of the times even when men probably go outside and think even women I just really companionship it didn't have nothing to do with sex, it mm -hmm. didn't have nothing to do with um, emotional bond or nothing. Bonding. I just I just accompany and them one. So there are other things then, based on what the Vox Pop says, that cause people to, to do the things they do and it's not necessarily love. Not necess so so there are other things where probably more important mm -hmm. to them than the whole uh, um, right and then and then it boils down to what the love the term love means really to them means as to them. well yeah what does love mean to you mm. wow well ideally this is real talk we don't do real, i know right i know so so love my love definition is not quite how the Vox Pop, the, 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 the audio, puts it, to right. be honest. So, at the same time, though, it's a case where there are things that would make me comfortable and happy that I would want to be able to achieve with this particular person. Or this person would particular, in some way, assist in providing those kinds of emotions. I'm, I'm an emotional kind of girl where passionate, I'm passionate about many things. Mm. So the companionship is of importance. Yes, yeah? yes. The respect, of, the respect is of importance. It's very important. And that feeling that I get where no matter what seems to go wrong or the moment that we're not getting on with something, yes. in a few minutes, it will all oh. get better. Yeah? And yes. not long before it will get better to the point where I feel great again. Yes. So, Hello. let's hold a thought. Call a good night. Welcome to Real Talk. Good night. Hi, yeah. how are you? Fine so far, you know. I'm T good. Tell me what love means to you. And what kind of love you're talking about? What kind of love? Because <laughs> yeah. you know, coming many you know. All right. Yeah. So, so, but I... Yeah, that was I emotional love... Uh, Relationship love between my partner, brotherly, sisterly, family. No, no, let us take let us take it to the to the relationship one. For that yeah. aspect of it, what does it mean to you when you say you love this woman? What does that mean for you? What does the love part of it mean for you? We know who will like. Yes. But, yes, but we only love when the other one love me too. Hold on there, man. Hold on there, man. Hold on. <laughs> so you're loving with condition. Of course. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Give do one to others as they are done to you. So is it a craving? So you find yourself having this craving and a desire for the person, and whatever you give the person, you're expecting that same kind of return. That's what you're saying. But how much? How much are the desire they share out for me to share my own? Okay. So you wouldn't just uh, you wouldn't just have a woman who you meet. Love her personality, her qualities. She has really nice ways. Whether she fat, whether she slim, whether she 
dark, whether she brown, whether she have short hair, no hair, whatever. Whether she has one eye, one foot. You, you wouldn't just meet a woman and you feel that comfort with her and you just find yourself just loving her. And it doesn't really matter what she not giving her, giving you in return. You just find yourself loving her. That don't exist for you. Then she, it must matter what she has give me. No, no, I couldn't go. So it must matter what she has give because if you're, if you're full up a, a tank, a, a ten thousand gallon tank of water, and I take five every day and I put down in there. It's a good one. Yes. So, so in other words, if she not give you nothing, know, you know, you know, if you just load her one down, find one way, I give something sheer. Loving is sharing. Loving is sharing for you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, for sharing. Because if you, if you if you only take from me, and give me no love, me no so deplete me. Okay. Right. And, and if and if she loves you, she should not be depleting you, right? No. Right. She should be sharing. Okay. And respect me, and if you respect the one, I share with him. Then nobody basket now go empty. Yes. Right. But if you just if love and just for what is a one way thing, it not go work. You can go just rub out like a rub and rub out one. A person there, whether a man or a woman, he just go on like a robot and just done, and then he move on to somewhere else. So those, right? Yes. So no. th those women then, for example, who are with the man that they're with, whether yeah. it's their main man or not, yeah. and all they want is just money. They yeah. want to do nothing for the man, really. Just want to go out with him and sport out in the fancy car, getting the money. That's pretty much it. Um, yeah. they might just do a little thing or two to please the man. Yeah, You're thinking yeah. that's not love. Yeah. yeah, they could dance in. in that's not love. That is not, I couldn't be love that. That oh. again, I, I deplete him, I try to deplete him when he not have none. And, 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 and the, I just have everything done. And the man who doesn't want her to work and want her to stay at home as a trophy wife. Yeah. That's love? No, he did have obsession. Obsession. He has said she don't love himself because he's going to work out to nothing. Because if you look for, look for a tractor and um, truck and something, they're not all liars. And you're going to just work out to yourself and lean up. And when you lean up, and when you don't, you just park. If I can work out, man can work out to so The woman fish here. Make sure you say, yeah, the man up there. But invite her in and things. It is that thing go good if she not work. But the house, you be comfortable at home. He meals up there and everything and him clothes and everything so I think he can't keep up and ask him for rest to give him paternity leave and she not okay. you know. So so love is really both people enhancing each other's lives, really. Yeah, sharing me period and halfway. Mm -hmm. I, I, or even sixty forty, but over sixty. Over sixty, yeah. the lady sixty or fear sixty. Well, anybody who can meet you 60 depends on your circumstances. Okay, sir. Well, we can only meet 40, you know, so, so, so whatever take the 60. Because the person sick or, or not able, give me a tip. When film time come in, you do the same thing. Share assets together. Yes. Uh, yeah. But then you have people now who are not fear and a woman will come now meet this man nice and, and dandy and everything good. And she meets him and she's treating him good and everything. And she introduced him now to her bank account. And lo and behold, two tools back across, clean out, gone. But, 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 if he, but then I, I, I would know my father to know him alone, it's for good long. Oh. Because if, if him see that he now take one time, if his sister she come to take her to Keisha. <laughs> you know, you know, you know, must know, say, well, all right, take Keisha here, what you do? We have to borrow, for you to take her to take her to get her. When I'm at the gate, I'm not signing her, I'm not coming overnight. And Harry Kane, uh, when an earthquake you know, comes sudden, yeah. I'm Harry Kane, he won it. So, so he would have fulfilled it, anything go along and things, say, yeah, she had got change. Mm. I just don't share it on him. And nobody should have loved himself, you should have loved yourself more. And you say, hey, if it's mad, you know, so I don't know. I'll leave you, so. If I don't know, I'll leave you. As soon as you know, I can I... Ten times to one the first man she woke up at. Mm -hmm. And then he just come at you, so. Then if it, then if him didn't up and good, he, he could not take three. So he would have enough that he couldn't carry. Okay. So so loving, sharing, and caring, and respect, 
after each other. I know I say, yeah, one hand can't clap, one hand slap, and one hand watch the other. <laughs> I like that, one hand can't clap, one hand slap. One hand yeah. slap. Yeah. Better to keep give a slap down, we mind us all slap down. So, Tell me, have you ever been broken hearted? When something hurt me, I never really broke up because it's still there, but it's, it's, you know, something will grieve me out. I've been grieved at it. Yes. By a woman, let down, you know. Disappointed, but then again, realize that we are world well, from the beginning to go till the end. Mm-hmm. So you, 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 you just that's why you just go to a mention when you see saying our world, leave us a move on because we are always for one thing, so that's a good thing out there. Yes, just like everything else, they are waiting one, waste so much one thing. W- one quick question for you before we yes. go to the break. Where I say, yes. when you look for love, where I say, woman good or woman wicked. Some good and some wicked. Mostly good or mostly wicked? I think most of them are wicked enough. <laughs> no, man. Not do that, man. <laughs> Not do that, man. Remember, say, for a year one, then it's the, the, <laughs> you know, you remember the Lila and all the great man, eh? Yeah, yeah most Samson, of them. Samson, the Lila? <laughs> yeah. Remember how good Samson is and great and woman to him now? Mm-mm. Even, even Adam did deceive with we. With Eve. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Eve, Eve was deceived by Adam. Mm-hmm. We're going to feel great now here. <laughs> you know I go clear. So I, I, when she, she couldn't tolerate her, she go take her snake. I don't know how we keep this it up. Oh, we, we have to go to the break here. It's now one yeah, minute after yeah, 11. Later. All right. Yeah, the time is brought to us by... VJ Printing Services. And Real Talk is sponsored by... Native Audio Stage and, night and Lighting. Stick around. Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 89 Did you know that dengue, chikungunya, and Zika are transmitted by mosquitoes? This is why it is so important to get rid of tires, bottles, and other containers with stagnant water and keep barrels covered. Eliminating stagnant water is everyone's responsibility. Protect yourself and your family. A message from the USAID. PSI Caribbean, CARFA, and the Ministry of Health and Wellness. Are you sick of living an average life and tired of just getting by? Do you want to take your life to the next level? Learn the secrets of the super successful. Listen to Power in a Half Hour with Coach Mark this and every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. Learn the habits of the super successful and how to make these habits work for you. Learn to turn your dreams and desires into reality. You can win in the game of life. Let Coach Mark show you how. Every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 at 10 p.m. For the best quality in sound reinforcement and backlining, Native Audio. We have professional engineers with over 20 years of experience. So call us and we'll take care of your parties, wedding receptions, barbecues, conferences, and small stage shows. Crystal clear sound, Native Audio. Our prices are the best. Call us at 871-5212. That's 871-5212. Native Audio. We make your events audible. 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 Do you have or are you seeking a place to rent, seeking employment or have a job vacancy? Are you selling a car or having a garage sale? Then come see us. Let Styles do the advertising for you and you'll be on your way in no time. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Advertising Style. Advertise with Styles. 
audio stage and lighting. Now offering stage, lighting and trust systems for your small and medium sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily the views of Native Broadcasting Network or Styles of Master, love of the base factor, yes, where a relationship should be a for. But no, relationship no have no name love no there because loyalty is no more a factor in relationship and loyalty is where we get love to combine in a relationship and we no have no more loyalty ness for each other no more relationship is based off of material stuff ulterior motives what can you do for me what can i do for you that is what relationship these days be suffer. No more love. Yes, if everybody in a relation, anybody, only person who haven't been hurted right now in a relationship is the person when I have none, we never been into a relationship. And people hurt more, some people hurt one, twice, two, two, three times before they really take a grip. Well, some people don't give themselves the chance to hurt a second or a third time. Some people find they hurt at one time, they become heartless and cruel and just figure more or less, okay, me na, it me just in a this, you know, and whatever happen, happen because it be a suffer pass relationship when it should not be like that because every individual is different but because these days how people think and how people see it you have to just live that way there it is sorry it is hard and it is harsh but the truth of the matter is that how it is and that's how we have to go because nobody don't respect people loyaltyness anymore you cannot trust nobody anymore. So people afraid to give people their heart because they don't want their heart to be broken. Real talk. <laughs> charmy, charmy, man. Giving it to you as real as it gets. Um, interesting there. Ah, no more loyalty, she says. Mm-hmm. So loyalty is the definition for love for some people. Yep. Are are one of the more important in more important aspects, yeah. Mm. Um so what I'm gathering though is but in all of that, some of what she Shami just said, um wouldn't person say these factors, some of these factors, um I can choose the factors that would determine the love that all, I have for you. for you. Yeah, or how work, love should work for me. True. So everybody would have a different definition, pretty much, yep. of love. Because if it is that I say, okay, loyalty for me, if this man shows me loyalty, if he's faithful to me, then he definitely loves me. A man will say, boy, a woman that means, uh, who not give me a bone, what? I love, she loves me, but if she give me a bone, she don't love me. Uh, but is that fair, though? I like that, you know? Is it fair? Is it fair? On both sides, is it, is it fair, men? Answer the question, is it fair? Good night, caller. Yes, 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 yes. You know that lady talk shit? Pardon me? You know that lady talk shit, it's true. I didn't say it's not. I'm just saying for everybody, the definitions of love or the factors that would make a relationship work, the factors are different for everybody, and everybody's definition of love is just so different. Because maybe what would be a problem to you would not be one for her, and what's a problem for her would not be one for you. I understand uh, uh, what, what you're going to put, what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> really clear. It's just too much hate and it's something there. You realize that? I'm not being nice where I'm being sweet in I love that. I, I didn't hear that. I said, a man have, have a nice family. Yes. And he take up a gun and, shoot and kill the wife. Is that his love? I don't think it is. But he must say love him. Is that his love? Yes, yeah, he is a jealousy. He is a love. 
I go and go over the other side, man. Jealousy is based off love? Yeah. No, man. You have that twisted man. Like, I love somebody. I am jealous of my person. Right? That's what I'm saying. That car's dead. Okay, sir. Yeah. As, as Daddy Root said, the person obviously t went on the other side because there is a thin line between love and hate, I can tell you that. And there's a thin line between so many things, sanity and insanity too. So if it is that the anger and the possessive nature that is in that person and feeling of insecurities or deception, all of these feelings bottled up in one, and the mind is working overtime. All him can see is how much him spend on this woman, oh, yeah, and how much him help her, yeah. and how much him take care of the family. Yeah. And this woman turn around now, come do this. Crosses. And all him can think of is just doing something drastic well, without even about. thinking about it properly. When is it drastic? What do you mean? Is it worth it? As he mentioned, killing the woman, or in the woman. Is it worth it? Can never be worth it. Some people think it is, but sad to say that for them, level of thinking gone to a different place now. And I'm saying, when they kill the woman, they run away. Why never run and left the woman? The point kill the woman. Exactly. Crossing over the thin line. That's what is happening. So before it reaches a thin line, people need to stop and check and say, all right, that woman here really love me. If she do this, in my view, does she love me? And if you think the answer is no, she don't love me, then you go on about your business. If you think yes, I know she love me, but something why this end up reached a place here. I'm mean, gonna try to work with her somewhere. Because I'm sure that there are men out there who can say, yes, you know, this woman ring me differently one way, you know. I mean, sometimes I just feel like I just can't take the woman, you know, but deep down, I love her still. I mean, so she loves me, so I'm gonna work it out. Yeah, I'm mean, gonna try to make it work. But there are other people who don't think like that. That's what I mean. I mean, if you give a woman, you don't look back to it. Don't look back. But don't give a woman what you Give him what you want. Give him what you have. Okay. So when things go a certain way, you don't feel broken hearted anymore? No. Okay, sir. Give her what you need. Give her what you have. Right? I don't care if you treat her good enough, but as I'm saying, mm -hmm. take the picture. I remember Delilah, the man, the man November. How about you, Bon? How about you, Bon, now? Second one. February. No wonder. <laughs> no wonder. Uh, All right, sir. Thanks for calling. Thank you, man. All right. So let's, we're going to play back the Vox Ball. Me? So I love you, love me then. Yeah. I love you, love me then. <laughs> you love me, man. Let's talk it true, man. Let's, let's admit to the truth, man. You love me. You love listening to me. And, and you love cuss me out, too. I know you want me to listen, though. And business what you want to say. All right, sir. Thanks for calling. <laughs> we keep him at home on a Friday night. That's good. <laughs> listening in. Uh, we're going to play back that for persons who might not have heard the clip. So let's hear back. One more time, what it is that we're looking at and discussing the whole idea of what love means to persons and if there are other factors that really should be more important than this love thing. This is what we've all been told about love, that we need to find it, fall in it, and look for it in that one special soulmate. What if I told you that these are lies? This whole idea of falling in and out of love is a delusional one. Love is actually something you can't fall into. It is a state of being. Either you are it or you are not it. We're not falling in and out of love. What we're falling in and out of is a momentary craving, a desire. So this is desire, this is not love. Let's not mistake desire for love. Love is typically measured as a give and take. Your action, their actions. You do this, they do that. And then when they don't do that, you stop loving them. Well, this isn't love, this is a transaction. Let's not mistake transactionality for love. Many of us depend on our partners for a sense of belonging, validation, approval. We depend on them for all sorts of things. And when they don't deliver, well, we stop loving them. 
This is dependency. This is not love. Let's not mistake dependency for love. And then when we fall in love, we want them to complete us, to fulfill our every desire because we were seeking to possess them. So let's not mistake possession for love. When we fall in love with another, we expect them to stay the same way. But when they change or drastically transform, then we change our love for them. So this isn't love, this is attachment. Let's not mistake attachment for love. So what is true love? It's when you don't own the other or possess the other or seek to control them in any way. When you realize that the other is not here to meet your expectation or to fulfill your fantasies or to complete your every desire. True love, it doesn't need any condition to exist. True love, it never asks you to lie about yourself. It accepts you for who it is you are. True love, it doesn't see the outside of you. It sees the inside of you, your essence. True love is synonymous with freedom. If you are not feeling free in your relationship, it is in true love. When you are flying free in a limitless sky, then you will know love. Until then, all the rest are imitations of the real deal. So don't stop questing until you discover this liberation. And when you do, you will find that it was... Right, there you have it once more, just in case you missed it the first time. So we're looking at the definition for love. And different people, as we said, would have different definitions. So look, let's see what Lisa is saying on the text line here. Remember, by the way, the phone lines are open. Um, 453-1444. That's 876 before that um, for the local line and 954-338-7973 for the international line. We have a call online. Good night, caller. Welcome back. I wasn't there before. <laughs> oh, okay. I think the numbers are similar. Hey, Shells. How are you doing? Good to hear you, girl. I'm good. <laughs> yes, sounding good. So let me hear. I, I mean, I I'm glad you came on with this one. Um, uh, is there a definition for you for love? Really? But after I give it what the record is that you say, most of what you say. Uh-huh. Yeah. Quite That's true, isn't true. it? Yeah. Yeah, man. Very thought-provoking, too, because I think sometimes we fall guilty of some of what she said. And we don't, don't even realizing it, and we're defining it as, oh, love. Because I love her, I want her to do this. And because... I, he, if he loves me, then he should do that. Yeah, we usually have um, action in a certain form. Yeah. That we, that we used to probably evaluate and, and weigh yeah. and calculate as to how much somebody loves us yeah. and what they do. You know, the actions of the show, those actions are what show that hey a person loves me yes and the, the actions that we are looking for are usually the, the um material things are what surround they're surrounded by materialistic things and yeah in mean, many instances physical thing you know i always tell the virgin them I, I know i even the females them i say if you are with somebody and you're not well and what what is wrong with you may very much be life threatening and that person sticks around no judgment no not me you don't have to question their actions when they are not in your presence or oh, become a sick machine gone on the road no they are there for you that's love mm -hmm. if you if you need one kidney and the person is it here to go tested that's love if you need somebody and say hey i'm hiv positive and they still me meaning you don't have anything you don't have money and material things to offer them, but you meet them, you are together and find out the HIV positive kind of everybody has said that and it wants me HIV positive, that's it. And they are still with you being a negative person. You can maybe say that is love. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> you know, first time I think you used to have what what they call love more than no because yeah. people used to build with each other. Man and woman used to find each other and no matter what they build together and then try to harmonize in the household. Lovers now change the conditional conditionalities. Right. So, you see, me always tell people, when I go back and me, um, probably evaluate where I've been, can I ever say me love nobody? And that's just the truth. 
And that's why I don't go around telling people that I love them because you have to be careful of the word. You can't just throw around the people. Yeah, but then, and then people. Huh? Something, come, something just came to mind. I'm thinking, as you mentioned that, for example, a woman or a man is sick and you're there with them right throughout and so on and so forth. Yes, that shows a different level because you're going above and beyond now to show that you care. And that's what love should look like and feel like. Now, I'm thinking about the person, the man or the woman who repeatedly just sups and takes certain attitudes and takes certain treatment because they love the person you find that they suppress it all the time they it's not making them feel good they don't feel great within themselves they don't feel appreciated or anything like that but you know what deep down because of how they feel they still show care and love and affection to that person despite the bad treatment is that person crazy? Have they crossed over the other side? <laughs> uh, or are they just so much of a good-hearted, loving person that then turn fool? Yes, a genuine feeling. Remember, you know, me, me tell but is it stupid? Is it stupidity then? Is, no, can love be defined no. as stupidity too? No, not, not, no. No, because they can't switch it off, Cleo. If it's genuine, you can't just switch it off. I agree, but the in the event... It might take the person a while to, to... Let me tell you what happens sometimes. Sometimes people in a relationship and it was good. And this person where we say an idiot, I need to let the, the, the next... The, let's let her because whatever, or she's left him because whatever. Sometimes the person can remember the good times and they're always expecting change. Uh -huh. let, yeah. me wait, let me wait and don't know the year and see. And if, see if, if. if I next year, in my year, she's going to change her ways because I remember the time when they used to be good people. You know, so, and sometimes you have people who have the mental cap capacity to break away. You know, the feeling's genuine, but yeah. they really don't have the strength to but, break away from the person. And then narcissistic people are manipulative, you know, clear. Yeah. Remember, you know? Yeah. So sometimes when the person who love them ready for walk away, they, they, they parasite them, they fall a little stronger with them tentacles. And this and you know, less. Way to manipulate the person. Yeah. Start treating them better for today, probably tomorrow. And then by the time they look next week, they come back to the same always. And that person mm -hmm. is like a cycle repeating itself. And then like parasite they keep taking from but, the person who loves them but but so, with that with that example i just used it brings us back to the to the the reality then that with love must come some level of condition <laughs> love is unconditional if, no but if it is that me i got the ear i love that rule straight and that it would uh, uh, kick and box long tonight tomorrow night and give me one punch the next night in one make love and make up yeah but, and, I, but that is how I show my love. <laughs> and and I'm, I'm seeing the bruises on my face. I'm physically hurting. But yet I still wake up and I cook his breakfast. And I rub his feet. And I wash his clothes and I iron them. And I treat him good. And when he comes home again, no matter how late he comes in and he comes in drunk, I'm still supplying the dancing needs and all these things. And if something not right, when we don't dance... And give me one next box now one can flip me over one side and i and i'm still there that that yes, needs know. some condition why do you stick yes, around no oh because i love him is that no love you being there and doing those things you can't be doing it for material gain meaning it financially he stabilizes you <laughs> so we have to we have to be careful with all so i'm loving the stability and not loving him then Right. I'm loving the financial support he provides. Yes. So it depends on the definition of love and what we're talking exactly. about. Exactly. We're talking about something that is true and genuine and coming from a place. Then eventually, still, you know, if you are a real woman and you give your love to a man and he might abuse it, disaster must strike him, you know. To get him out of your way, you know. If, if you don't have the strength to walk away from it because he might suck your dry. <laughs> then eventually disaster are going to man. him and if you something going to happen man, you're going to break free but genuine love really really can't turn off um, mm. and that's why it's so hard for find because it's like really really rare diamonds hard for find and when you find them they're not the rough so man that's it you want the little man where you see a farm 
Sometimes as some woman we see that we educated that we know what they man. Because they might go farm and then dirty every day, but that them would have wash your foot and drink the water mm-hmm. and love you unconditionally. Except if chacha boy them know like that he would feel like sir. He <laughs> is all that and him come with extra And distance. a bag of chips. Exactly. He might go on and tell you where you're supposed to and not to do and treat you like you know because there's another woman just around the corner to replace you. So who is you? So I just want to leave a dynamics that yes. you don't want to venture into the water. They call. Love, love business coming like when you're going to see a shark out there. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm mixed up in something. So, Somebody used to please to let me know, Cleo. Yes? That me used to be when I real talk number one fan. But me want to tell the person, say, you know what? You see, first time, you could have advised me opinions um, anonymously. And me just steal that idea out of the crowd. We can't do that again. <laughs> so let me tell you. Let me tell you. I tell you, have you questioned those shells? Have you ever experienced a broken heart? No. What do you mean, no? No, I never loved nobody in my whole lifetime, so my heart will break. No? But it should come. They expect it. <laughs> so you never give it to nobody and then break it? No. No, I never love nobody. It was, it was probably got you on earth. No, there are some other emotions that probably me think made it extend to probably one or two people. But that's just about it. Of course, people have my feelings. But if they never break my heart when they in my house, lay down, and me can't sleep, and me can't You can't eat? eat. That like, never happened to you? Nothing without them. And me never feel them weird about nobody yet. So, so if somebody says, come. if somebody says you have never loved, if you have never been heartbroken, would that be a true statement? That's my statement, and it's true. <laughs> I have no reason to come tell lies. Okay. <laughs> but if I've never, if I've never felt love, then my heart can be broken. So okay. All right. That, that's my take on it. All right, Mama. Thank uh-huh. you so much. Good to hear from you, girl. Yeah, man. Sure. All right. There you have another host of the Real Talk Show. All right. So back to the Vox Pop. Have you ever experienced a broken heart? If yes, what did you do? Did you slash his tires? Yeah? Did you go home and throw out every bit of clothes out a door? Did you light a fire and put... Oh, no, I don't want to sound evil. I would not do that. <laughs> but I'm just giving you what I think other women have done. And what mm-hmm. you see it in the movies. Mm-hmm. Do you... Key is car. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh Lord, forgive me, Lord. Do you <clears throat> what the men do? Talk what the men them do. Cassidy, talk about the men do when I get a broken heart. Just go out and drink, drink, drink. Go find you, and girl. just find you, woman, and yes. just break up everybody heart. One, yes. one, 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 one. Yes. What we, do men do when they're broken hearted? Well, that's some of the things that men have done. We are predicting. Cry. You know, one can't by themselves, hide and cry, and go no, beg her back. No, we call her Or get her back and then they just leave her after that. No, Men do those we, things. We call her bridge and I say, oh, oh she's wicked. Hmm. We have a caller on the 453. Hello, caller. Welcome to Real Talk. Clear. Y- yes, sir. There's no such thing as a broken heart. Oh, what you say? No. What you call it? It's a grieving heart. Oh, wow. I see the difference, darling. You, you, you know, it's an expression. You, you, you see, you see, I'm missing a man already. I mean, uh, in a same position to where they were. A man licking vehicle. Yes. Set Marcus Bay to be exact. And the man have, have a and to in loving vehicle so much. <laughs> you know, say, I ain't got just two oaks and die after. What? Die, mm-hmm. die within three months. Because it is vehicle in one too good uh, lick. I'm a licking vehicle, then they know here, say, we can carry on. We can man for the vehicle licking. Now, what kind of thing that? In no. So if, a, if a man had hit his woman, would he be that upset? No. It's a vehicle, you know. It's a vehicle. Oh, that's And he got shook same time. That's I unfortunate, I though. That's unfortunate. Very unfortunate. But, but here we now. The man, when he came vehicle, could even. F- can buy the tire. So when you look at that, you know, say, well, uh, him, 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 million dollar vehicle, he hurt him. So, the, what you say about that, compared to a woman, 
Really, I'm trying to see Palmer and break up. Mm, right, so you don't have grieve. You see how hard in grief. So tell me how fake. Him too vain. Him too vain still. Me not lie. Him too very vain. <laughs> no, no, get, no, get me wrong. I understand that when you think of how expensive your vehicle is and it, it wreck. And then you have to go yeah. about the money. You probably take it to heart. Yes. Yeah. Like the woman but, where his son. He will be so kill his son. Oh, God, man. Oh, God, yeah, man. So, yeah, you see, so what can I worse than that? No relationship broke up can I worse than that. You uh, understand? And you know, things. you know, it's a whole different ball ball game, though, because that is just, you can't even explain that. But then you have women, too, and men, probably, who have experienced a kind of hurt way. If you lose a loved one, and yeah, like that. So you see, you see, bye bye, dead and something. So it's a grieving heart, and never broken heart. Remember what the Bible tell you, you know. But if, what the Bible refers to him, say, love thy neighbor as thy love yourself. Yeah. That means you say, the first love is yourself. You are number one, everything is a number two, one, two, and one, <laughs> one, 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 I'm not going to do nothing stupid if I get myself into trouble. So guess what? Let me find the best alternative. Even though it hurts like crazy, I'm going to find the best way to get out of this situation because I love myself too much. If I leave my children behind, go to prison behind, do bars, go run up and down in a bush, go and hide from police and all these things. You love yourself that you don't allow yourself to be abused. To exactly, know. that too. I know this advantage you take of you. Well, they're, they're not, not happen overnight except earthquake. So it's not, <laughs> not sudden. It's not sudden. Color? It come. Real we talk. To extent, stop it. Real talk. We're up. 25 out of 100. Yes. That is enough. We. Even if you take for yourself. Real uh, talk. Better the day. Better the day. We're up on the break. You hear, Color? Yeah, too. Yeah, man. You take care. All right, my darling. Real talk. It is. It's 11.31. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services and Nassal is the sponsor of this very show, Real Talk. Soon come. Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 89 Three two two six six. Yo, this is Jati, the reggae ambassador. Join me alongside Jati Jr. right here on Styles FM. Each and every Saturday from 1 to 5 p.m. For the reggae ambassador entertainment show. I'm going to take you on a musical ride in a yard style. Coming up. Rock steady. And oh yeah, we'll rock you from old to new. Roots, culture, and in a dance hall style. Lily, lily, lily. And remember, each and every Saturday from 1 to 5 p.m. For the reggae ambassador entertainment show. Check it out. Right here on Styles FM. Yes. Business operators, local and overseas. This announcement is for you. Styles FM is an internationally known radio network with worldwide listeners in over 120 countries. From our studio in Port Antonio, Jamaica, to the ears of the people in your community, our listeners can be your new customers. Styles FM is an economical, efficient, and effective advertising option for your business. No matter the size of your business, there's always growth potential. Styles FM provides the customer reach needed to realize that upward movement. So procrastinate no more. Advertising is a must. For more details on how to advertise with Styles FM, visit www.stylesfm.com or email info at stylesfm.com or call us on 876-518-2399. Styles FM, the world listens. Don't miss the adrenaline rush with the musical ingenious digital team. 
Saturdays, right here on Styles FM from 4 to 8 p.m. Remember the uprising artists and new music segment from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Also, mix journal hour from 6 to 7 p.m. And the party hour from 7 to 8 Come, Styles FM. Digital tea. Our brain. Look, huh? Planning a party, club night out, stage show, a gospel concert, or even a business sales event? Let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low price promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Styles FM for the most effective way to explore your marketing dollar. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily the views of native broadcasting network or styles of welcome back guys and we are looking at what is the meaning of love what love is defined as for different different people and are there other conditions and situations factors to consider that are more important than this love or is it really that these variables these other conditions are what are used to help to de- make a difference definition define what love is for different people right so this attachment dependency syndrome the possession um, the transactionality all of that different people use different aspects of those things to define what love is is for them or should look like at the same time the argument too is that we should not mix up those things with love because love is does not have Possession, there's no possession to love, um, no control, there should be no condition. If you do that, then I do that. Um, yeah, when you talk about um, possession, love has no possession. Shouldn't. Shouldn't, <laughs> right? When I, you as a woman, I make you look like a boy, I hear a magic stick that. Mm. Mm. I don't fear then. Mm. I don't <laughs> <laughs> you see, that's why I tell that many of us yeah. fall. Yeah, this thing, you know, we fall now because yeah, you know, for me, for, also over for me, I guess you're going to have people, and probably for me and for other people, I might say, listen, man, my love is of this way. May I take care of this man here. Mm. So you're a magic him. stick? Yeah, may I take care of him and treat him good and everything and vice versa. So when you think about the biggest scum and the man has his freedom to do what he wants to do. Yeah. I have my freedom. Yeah. You know, we relate to freedom, each other very yeah. well and everything. Right, at the right. same time now, when I look and I see another sister in, I draw her close to the brethren. Right away my head chip gonna come on the next side because <laughs> that's my stick. Oh, what? You don't so know why it is it? So all of a sudden now, you know. It's stick no gone. All no of a sudden the love where you have us we're free, you know, and unconditional, you know. Yeah. And then a chick now. Upon the ends too tough, your features all change. Like lizard. that's because we are humans. A wife sees her husband who she loves him, you know. Mm-mm. And husband love her, you know, and they have a they don't have no trust issue. Mm-mm. Them do them thing and nobody now say, We are come from and I suspect and want to search phone. Everything that's good. But make she ever say. A sister in all, she should never know too tough all something all putting her hand on him shoulder. Yeah. yeah the, Average woman might have wonder. They might not say anything, mark you. Or they might not show no so face. So when they come home, the bump, when they right, mm. disappear. So, so babes, how are you bump with up on your face? I'm going to plan for bus this evening. You know, so I walk past one wall, I'm looking up on the wall, my girl. <laughs> right away like that, yeah, because it's like the average person does not even buy that, because the man just think. And, and it's the way, of, the way of mankind to think, the way we think mm. and the way we... You know, internalize things just different. No, but then I'll if me I pass the wall, I'm I'm a head to look up <laughs> right right to a bump there. But affairs of the heart is a whole boy. It, it's interesting. It's scary. All those things in one because 
sometimes we, we have our rational thoughts, you know. Yes. And our well thinking way of doing things. But when we see certain little things now, like all uh, girl, hug him up and open him face, to up on him, a smile to an engaging conversation, you're going to start just. You, you, you so just let, start me ask a question. let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Are you feeling that this shouldn't be happening? You shouldn't be so close to this girl? All right, let me ask you a question. Say, for example, you're in a restaurant, mm -hmm. right? And you see a partner walking. And you ring him phone and he doesn't answer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Love. Where's love again? <laughs> Where's freedom again? To not choose to answer. It not exist, sorry. No, but... Right there, so now is a whole different definition of love. Yeah. Because when I don't get mad, and then I'm hearing the phone ringing, and you not see me, you know, yeah, and you sit down there. Suppose you don't hear the phone ring. You're not, you not within proximity to hear whether that well, phone me go, me go, me go keep on a ring for look for see. If at some point in the phone going, or in my head space now, come again for my next side now, you know. <laughs> him, Look out the phone, or it can vibrate, or it can silence something. Yeah. Why are you going to put your phone on silence when you I know that? Out, you know, I didn't have a meeting, my girl, and I forgot to turn it on. I'm going to in a restaurant, you have, a, you have a, 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 a personal meeting with a client. No, I don't really that's not going to pick up a food. I'm going to pick up two food. That could be true. But it all so depends on who I So, well, so you're sitting there alone? Is that no, the scenario? No, you see me going to pick up two food. I mean, I call you an answer. Yeah, but my, my phone... But I could see if... I could see if... I don't know. The, some conditions are there. Mm. Let me see if... You see it? I, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Let me see if you're going to bring one one for me. What time of the day was that? Bring and who you buy food for? I must never carry it home for a night. You mean for two evening. food? Yeah. No, nah, lunchtime, you know. So, so, you could be buying food for a co-worker. Yes. You could be buying food for your next woman. We're going to spend the, the, the lunchtime at your yard. Not necessarily. Or out on the... In some park somewhere having lunch together. Could be just a friend. Could be somebody who say, buy one for me, buy some for me when you come yes, back now. Yes, see, I'm only a buy, so you buy, see? buy a food, right? All so, these so, things are possibilities, but, but, but in him, our head. You call him and he doesn't answer. So everything else will happen. Yeah. He's is, is, is suggesting, saying, yeah. there's a... There's so, a, a, a so thing. what about the free, the freedom? Can't, you know, let me tell you before I answer the question. Yeah, Gone through the window. <laughs> <laughs> what you're supposed to be... That's um, operative word supposed to be me human yeah, yeah, and writing yeah, on my head does yeah, yeah, because I see some so, things. So, so would you say at that point you become insecure? Yes, man. Let me tell you now, say insecure can, 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 all the verbs that we shouldn't be doing can help to determine the, some of the conditionalities to love because if it is that he loves me and I'm calling his phone, Yes. Then he should be answering and not deliberately ignoring my call. But Why you, is he doing but that? But you don't know if he phoned up on him either. True. Because guess what? That is it. Our, our rational no. way of thinking goes to the window many times. Uh, lunchtime last for an hour, one hour later, I'm calling you. Whoa. Problem. No, but one hour later, I'm calling you. Lunchtime. Mm. Man, up on him lunchtime. Mm. The, only, the only thing that you saw. Is him coming in the restaurant, pick up two food and leave. Not good. But he returned your call. And again, it boils down so, so, to... So, so wouldn't you consider, consider that, say, boy, hey, you know, say, moms, you know, say, me never, me never have my phone, for me, or my phone up and vibrate, I'm never pre walk one. And then that is where problems come in, because sometimes unnecessary people will ask, no, so why your phone for the and vibrate? Why your phone can't? You know, <laughs> all these things. It's it's just a crazy world we're living in. Lisa, Gracie, hi Gracie. Cleo, check, make sure none of the food not eaten either. <laughs> none of the food not eat either. I tell you, boy, boy. I tell you. Like bright eye, right? Uh -huh. Lisa says, you are really a mix-up. Partner walking. Partner walking. Yes. <laughs> but, but, but here's another love. What were you doing in the restaurant? Came to buy a lunch too. But obviously you dined. Why? Did you, were you alone? No, I bought the lunch and took it out. Oh. Took it back to the office. You sure? 
I think so. So how come? I, that so if you're how, careful, so, you so lunch guy office. Why me can't care for lunch no, guy office? No, but how come? <laughs> since, since since you saw me, yeah. Why didn't we? Why why we never book up in the takeout section? No, I'm more surprised. You, I'm guessing some Maurice from Cali. You see it, right? So I'm not a liar, tell. Because I couldn't use a me walking, and you see me. <laughs> <laughs> so so are you one who would where did I do that? I was waiting on the food, it wasn't ready. In a in a this regular seating yeah, area. Yeah man, waiting on one. There is there is a takeout lounge. I'm not sure if my one guys take take out lunch. It's too crowded. So let me ask you a question. Mm. Are you lying to me now? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Fellows, I saw oh you have a twisted fun there, you know? Oh boy. Let's see who is on the text line. Remember, the phone lines are open, guys. Uh, 453 1444 locally and 954 338 True love sees you for who you are. Is it okay for when you meet her? She is a slim and Coca Cola battle. Up? Yeah. But then after several babies that you injected her with, <laughs> she's now on the plump the, side, the, plump the side. fluffy side. Mm. And you say, yo, you really don't like fat girls still, you know? You know, in your mind, you say, boy, I mean, I want a fat girl, mommy girl, mm. to stay small and come mm. back to yeah. And she's not doing nothing about it, and she can put on more and more pounds every yes, month. Yes, yes, How do you cope with that? Do you see her as no longer attractive? Well, she, well, well, put it this way. Because she's out of shape that put, you once were way. accustomed to. Put it this way. Put it this way. Um, right now, she moved from your juby to your baby mother, you know. Hmm. See me, so I just saw the thing said she's a baby mother. You probably never look for her a certain way again. <laughs> <laughs> You're one of those Jamaican men who Ouch. give the men those views. Yeah. And you have men who believe that once they have a baby with a woman, they don't go back down that roof for another baby. That's crazy. They only believe in giving one woman, one woman, a baby each time. One, one, one woman. Oh my yes. Yeah, because because, because remember you know, like what Mister earlier you know, at least I don't hear it now you know. We are giving some companionship you know. We not, <laughs> we not we don't have the youth to even two to response for again so we can go room free. I hear you. I'm going to get paternal leave and steal me the baby the man and I have Nothing wrong with that. Bonding. You know more and no other part they are going to work though. Because suppose, suppose, um, so would they define which one of the women then you forget the paternal leave with if you have two, three, four women? I guess you can determine. No, I never make you know because paternity I I I did break for the daddy. So suppose the daddy have all four people in a barn in a one. I feel no feel business that. You choose the one, something in most cases I'm sure it's the first one, they're gonna look at that first one and mm. assign that um no, to the no, mom, no, to that no, mom. No, no, no. If you have Cassidy. the others, you're on your own with leave for them. Cassidy, Cassidy. explain this to me, Zane. Mm. Explain this to me. Mm. Me comes a bum. You sure you don't want to save that idea? No, me don't want to save it. Okay. I want to say it now. Me comes a bum and clear get a youth. Zane. And then now, two months later, I get my paternity leave. As my paternity leave, don't know. Bam! Shelly get a youth. <laughs> so what the mother tell me, say? You're entitled to only one paternity leave. You oh. choose the one that you choose to give it to, N and I would think it's me. No, but... A next youth born. No, man, I want you to get star. How? One. There are no. companies who are giving one every... Yeah, yeah but how you discriminate? What kind of di that is discrimination. They yeah, try to say one youth to have a better, a, a better bond with him than, than the next youth. No, you're croft. You know, see this have a pitney with another yeah. woman. Where you yeah. gang can get another one pregnant for? No, but me and this woman have the first pitney for left. Me don't want to know. <laughs> get your girl up on your bond with the child first, then you think about that. No, but you give, but you, you, you give me some leave. I want to know the conditions of this paternity business now. Mm. I want to know the condition of this paternity and why they have started now. Couldn't they have started it before now so me could have benefited from that? What if it is retroactive? <laughs> I doubt that highly. 544 four says, them say the one you live with, your death, you they're take the rest as unpaid leave. They, yes. They know that, Mr. Man, me and the one they left. I'm going to live with the next one. I'm going to deal with the next one. I share my job now. 
Okay. The, one, the, the, the previous one, I was like a baby mama drama down there. <laughs> that is why you may need to stop sticking your willies into any little dillies. No. I don't say it work. I'm not yes. trying to put twist on the thing. I put some conditions on the thing and it don't work like that. <laughs> it don't work like that. But with this, with, with this love thing still and the, and, and the broken heart part, I get my broken heart already. I just saw the thing set. Right? I get my broken heart already. And we move on from that. You know, me, 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 and, and, and me not see myself like never wanting to love again. Mm -hmm. I mean, I see myself, I put on a pressure for no be. The only thing I know, Cassidy, is say, uh, I vowed never to get caught flat footed. Oh. You see me, never but get caught. Wanna be on your toe point? Hmm? Wanna be on your toes? Yeah, man, your P's and your Q's, man. If anything, make sure say, you have an ex woman. So if that one day mess up, you have the other one to kind of be a fall girl, you know? I That's hear you. Set, you, know? you can never be caught flat footed. I say, boy, um, I want a little girl me have, and me now go do this, and me now go do that. And then when she now broke up your heart, go have a little man on the side, and you mash up. Mash up for real. Call her on the 453. Welcome, call her. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? No, well, it's still good night. How are you, First sir? Of all, I'm great. I'm great. First of all, Yes. You're, you're a jocko, yes, sir. What go on, my general? Lady, lady, I'm um, clear. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, to stop, stick them willy in a dilly. Do you know what a dilly is? It's on burn up, though, no, but me never do want to say nothing, you know? No, man, but if you don't want to say it, put it off a call party. <laughs> <laughs> in a Philly. Eh? Don't stick your, your di um, t <laughs> don't oh, stick your willy, willy in, in a, a Philly. It's in any high. Philly. No, that sound, that sound. That sound, it, it, it match up now. But, <laughs> yeah, it, no, and, and remember, so you, you call a, a, a horse Philly, you know, so you're still... Oh, right Jesus. <laughs> but, oh, <laughs> Lord. You know, you know, I understand. Work with the one. I understand. I understand. <laughs> but as it relates to the, <laughs> the love and heartbroken thing, I just want to lift, I just want to say one little something. Mm-hmm. The Bible speaks about somewhere it says the same things that give you joy that gives you pain are the same thing will give you sadness. Mm -hmm. The same way you love are the same way it hurt. Yeah. Yeah. And Real if a bad. man or a woman are gonna say, what them are gonna do if so and so and so, there's no way you can plan that. Mm -hmm. There's no way you can plan that because guess what? How you love Mr. Johnson? Ten years ago, is a different way I got love, Mr. Dixon, when Mr. Johnson is done. Mm -hmm. Simple. No, you understand? So you can't plan, you can't say how you're going to react towards a certain situation. Every situation is unique yeah. to that moment in time. Choo choo. Yeah? No, yeah, some people are straight up kind of cuckoo, mad, mm -hmm. gone. And yeah, you can't expect say, something going to happen. <laughs> Character going to slash. You know, I like a dash right now, ears. Oh, my. Uh, something other happened. Yeah. But then again, then again, you must have, you must have seen the signs from way down the road from day one, mm -hmm. the type of person we are dealing with, whether it be male or female. Mm -hmm. You know? And you, if you don't know, so boy, really and truly, if you mess up, expect for something to happen, you might not know why. Or how <laughs> detrimental it might be to your person. <laughs> <laughs> but something are gonna happen, you know. Yes. So I got my two cents still. I I I I appreciate it because as you said that, to be honest with you, I have been in a situation before where I could not fathom for the life of me how it is that I am reacting the way I was reacting to the situation yeah, to the a, person. This uncharacterized of you. It's called love. Boy, I mean, you know what I call you know, because I. I I probably despise the person initially. Mm -hmm. I would not have the, the, the things I would have accepted. I wouldn't within myself and knowing me as a person. Circumstances. Right. Yeah. I would have yeah. never, ever, ever give it a it, second thought. Nobody would have called, gotten that time of day. It, it is called love. Yeah, there is no plan into it. it just exactly. Happens. And then you, 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 you catch your off guard. And, and I tell you something, it happens over time too. 
Right. Lord, you even see it coming. It just hits you, and you're like, when did right. I, so, when did so I get it's here? Thing, hmm. It's the same thing, little Cleo. It's the same thing when we're when we're in the stage of in the stage of um, the, the, the depression, the, the, the um, disgruntledness, hunger. It, it, you find yourself and do some, something where you never know you're capable of. Yep. You yep. understand? So that, that, that is my point. The same way how you love the person are the same way you can damage the person you know, yeah. without even knowing it. Real Two time. minutes after you say, so what the hell did I just do? Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. Yeah, so, I so, saw so, so that make us still, or maybe I saw sin make we become. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Food for thought, ain't it? <laughs> yeah. I like the analysis. You just saw God make we, or so sin turn we. One of them. <laughs> One of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Thank you for the input. Very, very appreciative at the point in time when it came in. Uh, All right, respect, so bless respect. you. Bless, bless. A- a- interesting view there, I, I believe. Very, very interesting views. Because as I said, I really sat for many a days and wondered to myself, something wrong with you? <laughs> hmm. Oh, you, you do that? Let me ask you. You know, or you reach yourself. Did or you, you appreciate or accept did you, did, that. Did you say it out loud? Like you're not looking at me and saying, well, what's something wrong with you? No. Sometimes I was, yeah, sometimes I would talk to myself, but not in the mirror, but talk to myself. Okay. But really and truly, when I do my introspection, man, me, I say, yo, my girl, I, what, I, what happened to you? Because me really, really couldn't understand the future, you know? Me couldn't understand. Come here, I say, I've been in situations where zero tolerance approach mm, was mm, employed. Mm, mm, mm. I never feel no, For no sure. way about it. Yeah, I never, because I just no say, okay, me not accept this, me not like that, I'm just not going to work with that. And we just, you know, that was it. So you set all your rules. Right. But then there comes a point now where I was breaking my own rules, accepting things I message to myself. No, man, I know you this. Or mm-hmm. somebody else. What has caused this transition? Is it time? Is it age? Is it experience? Is it going down the road of stupidity? Maybe, 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 uh, maybe, 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 but all in all, as the person said, as the caller said a while ago, I saw real really talking make. And sad to say that there are persons who they love or think they love so strongly that they allow that same emotion to transfer now into the anger part of it where they damage and hurt. Because even men, cases of spouse, Killing their very own kids or mm-hmm. trying to kill them because they have the child with that particular woman who they, they hate so much now, oh, or they love so much that it now make them turn that, that way mm-hmm. because they were hurt. It's sad. sad. And if you're gonna love me that kind of way, nobody love me, Master. Do me, I beg you. If you're gonna love me to the point where you feel like I, you must hurt me. Don't bother to love me. Go love somebody else. Because honestly, me no want them kind of love there. That's, that's, that's a, mix, a mixture of attachment, dependency, <laughs> possession, transactionality, oppression, all in a one big jar just mix up. And but you those, know, you know those are not nice there, there are a lot of people who, have, who actually consider mm-hmm. their partner to be of their possession mm-hmm. and um they can't very controlling mm-hmm. um very much protective or overprotective yeah and at the same time it takes very little for them to become aggressive mm. because the, it's almost like I said the, the person can't do anything without them mm-hmm. sanctioning 
that being done. And it happened overnight. Yep. You just, just see one something happen and the person just trigger into, into that. Me if you say you must know your love a profile before you get involved in a, get, get involved in a the um Real talk. the relationship. Know the profile of the person, you know. And see what the see what 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 ticks them. You feel say you, you feel you feel say if you are going in a relationship you're supposed to um find out from them ex how them did stay. And it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt, but what you shouldn't do though is use it mm. as the ultimate mark for say, okay, this is how they are, yeah. so I am not going to do X or I'm not going in it. No, but I think you should you use it. Where are you going to do? Yeah, Where but about use it. it. It depends on what you hear though. There's some things you can't live with. Yeah. And certain things might just not even be what you experience either. If 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 if, if, if one of your ex, to each his own. one of your ex partner come to you and ask you certain things, would you divulge? Ask me. I mean, ask. Ask you certain things about the um your your ex. Mm -hmm. So at the new girl, mm -hmm. and she come to you and say, boy, tell me something about yesterday. Oh, you stay. Well, I am going. Would you tell the truth? So say, that yeah. this, so say them close for there, but they're not there yet. Close, um, tell the truth, but I will not spill everything. And my truth would be so, would sound something like so, this. No, my truth would sound something like this. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. From my experience, I can be a very nice person, quiet, humble. You think can also be an assassin. But in my view, deadly. But maybe you might not have the same experience. Maybe it was. <laughs> <laughs> so it's for you to decide. I can't decide for you if you should. But if you're, if you're a nice person, he, he can, you know, he'll do so and so Wash and so and so. Clean. Yeah, man. But I never had a good experience with this aspect of him. And I find that, boy, so and so would happen, you know? Yes. So, so I, would, I would pray up them a little bit. But I'm not going to say, no, my love. No good on the road there. <laughs> and they are good dead. They nearly make me go up, they nearly kill me. I'm not gonna paint this big, nasty, dirty picture of the person. It's not go up and go up. <laughs> I'm not gonna paint this big, dirty picture of the person, but I'm gonna let it be known that you have to find out for yourself what is there. I'm not gonna be the one to damage the person mm. because everybody now got the same experience. True. And as you say, it could be could be better. And worse, like and it could I also say, be worse, right? So like, like what the bridge name said the November people, my problem. Maybe also. compatibility wasn't there to begin with. So all that all those things are considerating considerations as well. All right. Yes, guys, we are up on the to the end, the last break. Winsome says, Good morning, lovely folks. The program was very inspiring. Open Cassidy. I have learned a lot from each input. Indeed, can I tell you, Mama Winsome, me too. Um, love your spirit, Mama Winsome. That's my month. Okay, we got that earlier. Yes, Mama Winsome, thank you so very much. Um, Cassidy, who else we have there quickly? Can we wrap them out? I see some messages like they're there that we didn't catch them anymore. Um, Kimoy, Sunning Hill, good program. Thank you so much, Kimoy. Bless up to you too, my brother. December is the best month, Cleo. November, then December, honey. My daughter was born December. My brother was born December. So yes, it's a good month too. But guess what? It's after November. In every sense of the word, December is after <laughs> November. All right. So we have come to the end of the show, guys.